bạn chẳng là dương ta mau hay dương chụp tay cầm thi lời nắng bạn chụp tiếp xua bạn nè từng ngóc ní số một con số một ca chụp tụm cầm thi dù mệt thính là cái này là không thiên là bọt ca chụp xa nơi speed nâng ca chụp tìm luôn là bài chụp nền cột để phía sang lấy dân thà BHMS study in Switzerland and prepare for your future careers hai cái này dương miên việc bên bây tố bây tố chơi tầm nàng xa lá cư lô gà Andrew Hornslow bị bắt tay suy hay năng nè niên cái thông thoái bị bắt tay thấy hay năng dương miên việc mình mà nè tiết à cứ lo cả na đẹp à cái nó chuyên sát cái những sự sát nó ảo bẩn đất nó bị ấy chậm mà bắt tay suy to làm đó cam thi thay này à dương miên giờ phải bị máu hay dương còn miên là siêu anh ấy xong luôn xong lại phòng đá cái rồi bị việc mình bàn mình bắt bằng hai bàn tay này từng ngóc này có ai đã chia sầm nuối bàn tay bàn tay tam giờ chat panel phòng đá hay dương năng chơi nấu việc siêu anh ấy mà cam thi ngày này trang ban sẽ cài tiếp trong mà đào giờ sala scope chơi lại bhms năng psac năng sầm đọc sầm đọc trong bàn tour hay bắt vào áo phi tôm chia tháp nước và sát sát điểm đó cần sát sân si nó tăng bị sang pi pon đập pi hay dương chia chân mũi đại chân nắm đầu bờ tay cong chia dương bẹp pon dùng mũi nâng cao sang đầu bờ tay suy và tại nhóm số mình chạy thích cứ dương chia chân mũi đại chân nắm sau đó bờ tay cột đại cứ bờ tay suy và chẳng là đam mê cái mối cam kết chú và trong ban sôm và cô về cả ní chú là việc mình tận bây nét sau đó cả phương bọc đồng hai nhà trong phục thiên bọc ngay đi Without further ado, I'd like to invite our special speaker uh, today to continue our meeting. So uh, please welcome Mr. Andrew and get Khan's way. Uh, okay. So uh, today and so uh, Hello everyone. Thank you for coming today. Okay. So today is our good day that we have good opportunity to have this exclusive webinar with you and also with our key partner PSAC. As you know, PSAC or two hours school BHMS. So today you will see about our school, about our programs, and also our our life in Switzerland as Cambodian student and as Asian student. Okay. Or if you have the questions, or later, as you know, we have very very special guest, Mr. Nade in Switzerland. So he is our MBA student and also uh, our good alumni. So he will share his direct experience to you guys as well. So you can would like to pass the stage to our Andrew. Okay. So Andrew, please introduce yourself and and start. So thank you. Thank you, everybody, for letting me join you, uh, Purim, and obviously PSAC for organizing this for us. Um, I, I guess the first thing today is uh, congratulations all being not in lockdown anymore. It must be good to be out and about in uh, Phnom Penh at the moment, but um, thank you for joining us. And, um, but yes, Andrew is my name, and uh, I, I'm basically the sales and marketing manager for the Asian region. Um, and Giggs asked me to come along here and, and give you guys a little bit of an indication of what's to, in store for you in Switzerland, should you choose to study abroad with us. Um, so I'll start screen sharing and hopefully you guys will be able to see this PowerPoint and we'll go through. But before I begin, I'd just like to just emphasize, I love being interrupted. So if you want to jump in and say something or pop something into the chat box, native language or not, uh, or in English, please do. Um, Piram and Gig will both be there actively answering things and we'd love to hear from you during the process. So but to begin with, I just encourage you first to look at the name at the very top of, our, uh, of this slide, BHMS, and just notice that there's a very large B in bright red and that's there for a reason. Um, most people, when they look at our name, they see the word hotel and they see the little Swiss flag and they think immediately, ah, hotel school. And yes, we do teach people who wish to work in hotels and manage hotels as well, but the B is probably highlighted for a very specific purpose and it's because we consider ourselves to be a, a business school or a business management school that uses hotels and hospitality to teach business. And that's a very important distinction. We don't expect everybody who comes to our school to end up working in a hotel. And you'll be very pleased, pleasantly surprised to meet many of our uh, alumni that haven't ended up in hotels as well. But if your goal is to work in a hotel or in the hospitality industry, we are very, very good at that as well. 
Um, just a little bit about the country first. Um, many people aren't even sure of which one the capital is. I'd be curious to see if many people here knew, but um, we're based in a small little city right in the centre of Switzerland. It's not the capital. Uh, our city is called Lucerne. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, most of you will fly in through Zurich, which is probably considered the financial capital where most of the money and businesses are operated out of Switzerland. But Bern, on the other hand, um, it's probably less well known, but is actually the real capital of Switzerland. So here's a little picture of our beautiful city. And it really is a beautiful city. I think it was voted most beautiful city in all of Europe a number of times in a row. But if you have a look at the yellow circle there, that's the, I believe that's the train station. And that's essentially as far away as you'll need to walk from the red circle up in the corner there, which is where our main campus is. And literally the distance between those is, oh, I'd say probably seven or eight minutes walk. Unless, of course, you enjoy shopping like our lovely Miss Gig and stop by all the shops on the way and eat some of the lovely food, in which case it can take significantly longer. But um, one nice thing about being located in the city is students have access to a real social life. Um, you can actually just go for a walk and get a cup of coffee or go to a restaurant or meet with friends and, and walk back to the campus. You don't need to worry about long uh, tours or buses or... Uh, yeah. uh, Andrew, may I jump because uh, your slides haven't been moved, so I think oh. it's something stuck on. Ooh, really? Yeah. Anything happening now? Yeah. So we see only for the first uh, for the front page. Okay, yeah. I'll reshare it. Sorry, I'll try again. I'm not quite sure why that would be the case. Ah, uh, okay, it's fine now. Thank you. Got that one? Okay. Yep. So we've got okay. a little bit of Europe in the middle there. Okay. Thank you. As I said, I love being interrupted. Uh, but yes, if you're not sure where Switzerland is, it's actually dead centre of Europe as well. And our city of Lucerne being in the centre of Switzerland and Switzerland being in the centre of Europe, we're surrounded by Germany above us, Italy below, and France on one side and Austria on the other. And typically it's one of the best uh, hubs to look at transport or different logistical purposes for business out of Europe all around. Now, some of the important stuff, I mean, everybody's talking about COVID at the moment, so we should touch on it. I don't like talking about it too much, but it is part of what the world is now. So many of you may be concerned about travel or studying abroad still. But let me assure you, at the moment, Switzerland is far and away the safest country in all of Europe. And it really does uh, or has made a lot of progress in slowing and almost completely stopping the disease. I believe, as of yesterday, more than 21% of the population has been fully immunised uh, or vaccinated, and they plan to have uh, free vaccinations for any and all students that arrive in the country by the time you get there. Um, other things which we normally talk about, I mean, many of you will know reputation in Switzerland is built upon excellence. Um, Real-world learning situations as well. The Swiss education concept is very based upon practical learning as well as academic learning from books. So you don't spend all of your time just sitting down reading in a classroom. Literally about half of the time you spend in Switzerland with us, you'll be working in a real job situation using the skills that you learned in a classroom. And not only will you be working, but you'll also be getting paid for it. But we'll go into great detail on that later on. This one. It might take a little while for it to open up properly, but travel to other countries from within Switzerland is very easy, which is one of the reasons why Switzerland is already such a multicultural environment. It's definitely one of the safest countries. I mean, there's a number of different reasons for that, the World Health Organization, but also just the, the general health plans within Switzerland itself. And all students, when they come to Switzerland to study with the HMS, are fully covered for health insurance the moment they step off the plane. And in a lot of cases, there's not many places you can go to study where you'll have the opportunity to learn another language. When you do come to study with us at BHMS, we usually will teach you at least basic German or possibly basic French, depending on the subject choices you've got. But the chances for you and the opportunities for you to improve your existing language skills or even start a whole new language skill are there and essentially free resources for you to use whenever you will. 
many of our students after graduation are quite capable of holding a, con uh, a conversation in three, five, in some cases even seven languages that I've seen. And language is one of the best keys to success in both business and hospitality in the world. Uh, you guys are very fortunate. You already speak two, um, and probably you'll speak a third. Unlike most native English speakers, myself included, we usually only speak two languages, English and bad English. So I'm hoping you guys can do better. Uh, the Swiss education concept, and this is something that I've touched on before, uh, and it's actually for been, been closer to 200 years, believe it or not, but for essentially more than 100 years now, Switzerland has always had a practical, a very practical component of their education system. Even from quite a young age, when students are given something to learn, they are usually forced or made to use it in practice so that they can see how that information is used in the real world. This is done right through high school, but once into a university level, especially within the hospitality and service sector industries, the Swiss government takes it very seriously and most students will actually study for at least half of their time will be academic, but then the second half of their studies will be in a full working environment where they get to use those skills. And I think this is becoming more and more important as time goes on. A few little statistics about our school. Uh, it varies from year to year, but typically we run at around a thousand students. Um, so we're not what you'd call a huge university. Um, I like to think of us as a mid-sized or even small university, which means that you'll generally get to know everybody there fairly well. But something you'll notice is, although there's not a great number of students, we have a great number of different nationalities, and this, I think, makes us a little unique. Uh, something that's very important in today's current environment is literally being able to deal in multicultural ways and being able to sit down and enjoy breakfast, lunch, dinner, working with, living with, doing assignments with people from different countries. And, and I'm not talking about just countries that you may be familiar with or like, but I'm talking about every country, even countries that you may not be familiar with or possibly don't particularly like. If you're going to be successful in business and in hospitality, you need to understand and be able to work with people from every country and every nationality, every religion and every culture. And the HMS is very proudly presenting the opportunity to do that. Kind of the boring stuff. Um, some of the parents are very up on this and they really like hearing the information, but this is just some of the accreditation or the people that have actually given us accreditation so that we can provide you with a quality uh, degree. Now, when you graduate from BHMS in any of our degree programs, you will actually get two degrees, not just the one, which may not sound like a big deal, but if I'm a HR manager or a boss or a CEO and I'm looking at two job applications, and they're both good. But if one of them has one degree and one of them has two, then naturally I'm going to be more inclined to look at the person with two degrees. And we can give you a degree out of Switzerland and a degree out of the UK, which is a very powerful thing to have on your own CV. So we're quite proud of that fact. There's a couple of other things there that are useful, but um, the Eduquar is probably the main one, which essentially shows and is uh, some form of proof that we give a fully high quality education. So if you've got other questions about that, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, we essentially run three majors at the university. The first one, fairly simple and straightforward, hospitality management or potentially hotel and hospitality management. Uh, and that covers a range of different things. But we also do business management, which we are finding more and more interested. And I'd say almost, if not more than half of our students now are business-based students. And we also have a very strong culinary class. Um, the Culinary Academy we're running there just recently ran their own internal competition. And I was lucky enough to meet some of the competitors. We have some incredible chefs. And even if you're not at all interested in cooking, one of the things that is of benefit is when you're studying at the school in business or hospitality, 
you get to eat all the lovely food that our beautiful and amazing chefs will produce. And so you eat very, very well. And that's, again, all part and parcel of the package when you come to BHMS in Switzerland. Uh, some of the career paths, and again, we discussed this briefly, where people would be talking about the fact that most people coming to Switzerland to study a hospitality degree assume that they will be working in a hotel. But the reality is very different from that. Yes, there is some accommodation, and you'll see that up in the top corner. But there's entertainment, recreation, um, food and beverage, restaurants, grab food, these types of things. But event management, wedding planning, um, tourism, travel, management, things like that. I mean, there's even, you know, finance options and different other service sector things within the, uh, the hospitality management careers. Another look at different types of things in the service sector. You know, within the accommodation sector, you've got things like timeshare and retirement. Obviously, casinos are a big deal where you guys are as well now. I've been to a number of them. They're quite amazing. Uh, the food and services, not just restaurants, but bars and pubs, fast food as well. Events, conferences, trade shows. You're even talking things like the Olympics and FIFA. All of these things require management, and most of the people heavily involved in this come from the service sector industry or the hospitality management circuit. Entertainment and recreation, as I mentioned before. And again, transportation, planes, trains, cars, all taking a bit of a hit at the moment because of what's going on in the world, but it is coming back. Logistics, on the other hand, um, freight and transport, those companies are right now doing better than they ever have before. Um, tour and trade, travel operations, you should all be very familiar with that. But uh, luxury brands and luxury services is something that a lot of people are still coming to terms with. Uh, but setting up students working in places like Prada um, and Dior, uh, Porsche, uh, Lamborghini, these types of companies are all luxury brands and luxury services which students of ours end up working within. And of course, our business students, as I mentioned before, there's so many different aspects of business. Just a few, training and HR, you know, human resources is becoming such a huge part of what's happening since the pandemic. Uh, consulting, logistics, obviously finance and banking, real estate and sales and marketing. So there's a lot of different areas that people can move into. Uh, this is the bit that my boss makes me talk about all the time, the, the famous four pillars of BHMS and if you take nothing else away from this, take away these four things. We provide you not only with a quality education, which really all universities that you're going to talk to uh, here at PSAC about will do, but our quality education is kind of unique. The assured internship. We will find you an internship in Switzerland where you'll be able to use your practical, or sorry, your academic knowledge in a practical way. And if you do it within Switzerland, it will be a paid internship. And I think this is probably the most unique part of studying in Switzerland, is you get a real job for six months of every year where you get paid and work for a real boss, which means if you do a three-year degree, which I'll talk about later, you will have one and a half years of full working experience with three different international companies. Again, a very powerful CV a very powerful resume when you walk away, having two degrees and three separate full-time jobs. It makes a very powerful CV. Now, I used to be a teacher, and probably more important to me than both of the first two is how the students themselves end up. And at BHMS, we do focus a lot on personal development, and, and I consider it personal and professional development where we actually like seeing the students turn into more than they were when they showed up at the school. I love the look on parents' faces at graduation when their, their children are standing up in front of the crowd and talking like a movie star, and the parents are going, oh my goodness, is, is that my child? They were so shy. And um, I'm hoping in, uh, later on you'll get a chance when you meet Nade to see that the confidence level and the ability to present from our students is quite remarkable. And the last pillar, if you manage to do the quality education very well, if you pass your exams, if you do your internship and you progress through that, i.e. 
don't get fired. Um, and if you do develop personally and professionally, if, if you start to understand that there is a change that uh, comes over people and you can find that within yourself, then the fourth pillar for us is very easy, helping you to find that first international job. We have a very high success rate in doing this. Not everybody, but almost everybody who is looking for an international career job, we will help you find something. And um, some of those jobs are quite remarkable. Now, our two main bachelor's degrees are basically the hotel and the hospitality degree and the global business management degree. Most of our students at the school are studying one of these two things. And you'll see there's a good reason for that. It is a full bachelor's degree and it's only three years, not four. So you'll be out in the workforce earning real money sooner. You don't have to spend an extra year of paying a university to be there. And you'll find the first two years of both of these degrees are almost identical, which gives you an incredible flexibility which most universities can't offer. If you're unsure if you wanted to study global business or hotel and hospitality management, that's okay. Pick one, start the course, and after one or two years, you can decide then and choose to complete the degree in either hotel and hospitality management or in global business management. So after you've worked out in a real working environment, you can find out if hospitality or business is more of what you would prefer. The other little thing to notice on this page is each one of these three years, the top section you'll see is only six months of actual study. Most universities you'll be looking at a nine month or possibly 10 month study period. And over that 10 month study period, you'll usually have about 15 or 20 subjects and you'll have to do all of them for most of the year, which can be quite complicated and quite difficult, but we try and make things a little easier than that by focusing on usually three subjects at a time, potentially four subjects at a time, over only a six month period, which makes the study period fairly intense, but it also means that you finish earlier and you get a chance to go out and use that stuff in practice. Our culinary arts degree, again, a full degree, not just a diploma. Um, and again, it's only three years. But in this case, like before, if you're studying three years in a row, you'll end up working in three separate, usually restaurants in this particular case, where you'll work with some of the best chefs in the world, get an opportunity to understand how a kitchen and a restaurant operates. And most importantly, we also include a great deal of information as to how to maintain profits and how to make sure that you're making money, how to make sure, for example, that you don't go broke if you're opening your own restaurant. And these are all very important things. The PGD is an often forgotten degree. Um, many people look at the degrees now just as I need to get a bachelor's degree or I need to get a master's degree or I need to get an MBA or even a doctorate. But a PGD is actually something that you'll find a lot of people who have a PGD have a very focused view on what they're trying to do. They may have already studied they may have already worked, but they're looking to move into a new area. And we're seeing this as a bit of a trend now. A lot of people coming out of industries that have closed down, moving into and studying hospitality management. Um, and you can do this in less than a year, really. Six months of study, followed by four to six months of paid internship. And the culinary arts PG is really for people who are wanting to become a chef. Um, and that's something that a lot of people don't realise until a little bit later on in life. So sometimes around that 20 to 30 year age group, they decide, look, I'd love to become a chef and this is the pathway to do it without necessarily needing to spend another three years studying. This one I have a personal interest in because I'm planning to do this fairly soon myself because it is such a powerful degree. I've met so many students of ours that have done this degree over the last four or five years and listening to their stories, yes, the academic wasn't that easy, but they passed it, they made it through. But what they learned during the internships at the master's level were extraordinary. 
and the job opportunities availed to them afterwards were amazing. And like I said, I've been very fortunate in my travels to meet many of our past students. And I've found myself being quite jealous of some of the positions that they have received. Um, again, we have an amazing alumni network, an incredible job network for students and alumni students. So not just whilst you're studying, but even after you've graduated and even years after you've graduated working in one position, we can still help you find other jobs later on. This degree, as I mentioned, as all of the others, is a dual degree as well. So you'll come out with not just one master's degree, but two. And you can specialise in either international hospitality business management or global business management. So realistically speaking, you've again got the two main choices. And it really just depends on what your future holds or what you're planning to do after graduation, which one is most suitable. The six-month study period followed by the six months internship is again one of the reasons why this company is able to provide such good jobs afterwards because that working experience that you gain is the reason why employers will hire you. The degree itself is usually not enough. And our new MBA degree, uh, literally now half the time it was, um, we're down now to basically a whole uh, one year, 12 month MBA degree which is Quite remarkable. It is quite intense and the study level is fairly high um, so we don't accept people that come in just directly out of a bachelor's degree usually. We normally want you to have at least some real working experience and we do usually require interviews and things before this as well because we need to maintain a high quality level of student coming so if you're interested in doing our MBA I would love to have a talk with you personally and just find out if it's going to be suitable for you. Um, I'm sure Piram would be able to have a chat to you about it as well. But something that you may not be aware of is if you were to combine our MSc degree with our MBA degree, we will actually give you credit into your MBA degree, which means we can drop the price dramatically as well as the time it takes to complete both which if you're interested you could look at doing a dual MBA dual MSc degree in less than two years um, which is quite remarkable. Now a little bit of information about the academic stuff um, and this can be a little bit complicated so try and bear with me if you will. But something we do, which I touched on before, is we use what's called a block system of education, uh, similar to Columbia in the US and a couple of the other really expensive universities, where instead of teaching you seven to 10 or even 12 subjects per semester, we break up each semester into shorter four to five week terms. And during those terms, you only focus on three or possibly up to four subjects at a time, which means that you are, A, not having to, to, to look at so many different texts and so many different articles and read so many different things and do so many different assignments. But most importantly, you get to meet your teacher virtually every day for four weeks in a row. You don't just have one lecture for each subject each week. You don't lose that information by forgetting it over a period of a week. And one last nice thing is if you do struggle with one of your assignments or your exams and for some reason something goes wrong, you'll actually have another opportunity to study that same subject with a different group of students, probably for free, and you can do the exam again at a later stage. Um, which means you don't normally need to come back a following year or do another semester if you do have difficulty studying or if you end up failing an exam at some stage, which I don't like talking about too much, but it is a reality. And as a teacher, students are often very fearful of that. So if you fear that you might have difficulty at school at some stage with certain subjects, we will give you another opportunity, which is something a little unique for most. Having small classes, as I mentioned before, and, and very good language teachers as well, makes it a lot easier for a lot of students who are coming from an English as a second language background as well. 
Now, the internships, this is, as I mentioned before, what probably sets Switzerland apart from the rest of the world. And when we talk about doing an internship, we aren't saying to students, look, come and study for a little while, then you have to go and find a job and, and work, and then after you've worked for a bit, come back and do some more study. No, it's it, it, that would be very, very difficult. And unfortunately, there are still some schools that do this, but I truly believe that while a student is studying, they shouldn't be hunting and searching for a job. They need to focus all of their energy, time and effort on those academic weeks. So our school has its own internship department, which spends a lot of time and energy for you to source internships locally where our students can go. And then they go through and find a suitable internship for each of the students and they help you get there. They do role playing of interviews, um, they visit you when you're out there as well. And providing that you do the internship in Switzerland, there's a big bonus of fully paid uh, 2,200 Swiss franc a month, which I think at the moment is over 2,500 USD. It's, it's quite a lot of money for a student to be earning per month. And so we expect students by the end of their first year to actually have saved around 10,000 US dollars into their bank account. And it won't always be the case, depending on your expenses and how much you want to spend buying things for other people or possibly the boyfriend and girlfriend, depending on what's going on over there. But the reality is we would hope that you can save a lot of money that you can use either to start your own business after graduation or to help pay back mum and dad for sending you to Switzerland in the first place. Now, if you will, just take a little moment and have a look at this slide yourselves. I'll try not to talk too much over the top, but I expect in there, if you look carefully, you'll see a few signs or names that are quite familiar to you. you know, places like Holiday Inn, Sheraton, Marriott, Accor, Crown Plaza, these things should all be familiar. But if you look at some of the others, I mean, you've got Chanel, you know, UBS Banking, Craft. I mean, they make cheese, you know. Uh, you've got Logitech, Apple, Citrix, you know, Swiss Airlines, Carnival Cruises, Education First, even Citrix in there. So, you know, there's insurance companies, lots of other things in there which people don't normally expect. But we're very good at sourcing either internships or, or postgraduate placement with these companies. So choose a company you think you would like to work with or study with. And then once you've picked one of those, put into your mind where in the world you might like to do that, because these companies have offices everywhere. You know, would you like to work in the US for a little while, work in New Zealand for a bit, or, you know, go to the Philippines or have a look in France? You know, where would you like to work in the world? Or do you want to come home, and work back at home in one of these big companies there? I'd usually recommend it makes sense to, to work outside of your home country for at least 12 months before you do go home. That way you go home into a higher management role. But um, if you are looking at coming home soon, we can definitely find you some very good places locally sourced with these companies. A few examples from different parts of the world, but uh, one of our Thai students here studied his MSc and doing his internship in sales, um, but at the Royal Present. Uh, from Hungary, events planning, event trainee working at Swiss Hotel in Zurich. From Laos, working at Titlis, one of the most famous ski resorts in all of Switzerland, uh, F&B training. Uh, a Swiss guy studying in Switzerland. Uh, imagine that. It does happen. So Alex working, uh, working at uh, Alex Lake in Zurich there. Uh, courtyard by Marriott. Uh, again, I've met this girl. I think she's moved on from that particular position now. But um, Again, from France, working in Switzerland at Mandarin Oriental, some amazing properties. Another Thai student working at Dol de Grand, um, and this is again one of the most famous and I think one of the earliest five-star hotels in all of the world. Uh, global Business Management, bachelor student, uh, working at the Chidi. Uh, I've stayed there once. Another one working at Titlis from Myanmar. Uh, 
uh, an Italian gentleman working in Switzerland again. Uh, there we go. There are some Cambodian students in there. I figured there must be. Sea uh, Hotel Riviera on the lake. Quite an amazing place. They go for a boat trip every day. Uh, and I believe the restaurant in there is quite a remarkable place as well. Uh, Lena, again, working at Schweitzhof. Uh, very famous, uh, sorry, very famous place working there. Uh, I, I don't think I would be able to afford a meal there, to be honest, but the tips she gets would be remarkable. Another one working up at Titulus. Again, we, we send a lot of students up there because it's such a wonderful environment to work in. And again, many people end up going back and staying there at some stage later in life. The Savoy, one of the most famous hotels in all of the world. Uh, and right in Zurich where it began. As you can see, the number of different students there, spa and wellness work, working in Switzerland. Something that a lot, a lot of people get the opportunity to do. Another one at the Savoy. Uh, as I mentioned, there's an amazing number of students with some amazing opportunities. Uh, working in the US, this has become a more popular destination. Uh, recently, we've had a few difficulties, students not necessarily wanting to go to the US straight away, but we're able to find and source jobs there still. Uh, and we do have other alternatives for students who were planning to go to the US that now might look at different alternatives. So. This is a little bit about what I was mentioning before. Uh, Gig's been very generous to the, the, the Swiss people here. Uh, minimum salary, yep, 2,200 Swiss franc. I think if you look at the numbers today, that'll be significantly higher in USD, but um, that's just because the US dollar's doing terribly. Uh, but typically the expenses for most students, it will vary depending on where you're staying. Um, if you want to stay in a five-star hotel in luxury, you won't have much money spare. But if you do plan to stay in a normal hotel, often there'll be very subsidised or sometimes even free accommodation and meals. Um, and in other cases, it'll be a, a little bit. But most students, usually I'm finding the average student will save somewhere between probably eight and 12,000 USD per year. Um, so it works out fairly well in the end. Again, not a big deal, but this is probably the one piece that people forget. Uh, this is the bit that goes into your CV that proves that you did do real work in Switzerland. This is the bit that actually impresses the HR manager and probably the piece that will get you the job in reality. And it's just an example of it here. Now, as far as postgraduate placement goes, we have our own company called Masterwork. And... Uh, it's generally very good at organising different visitations from different schools and different places around the world. But usually, three or four times a year, HR departments from different companies around the world send their HR team to BHMS in Switzerland looking for graduates or students that will graduate soon that they can employ and bring up through their management system. And you'll see some amazing properties here, you know, Sandals Resort in the Caribbean, Biltmore Estate in the US, uh, Hyatt in Switzerland, Hyatt in New York, Ritz-Carlton in, in the US as well. There's some amazing places, and this is just a real schedule that we pulled up. We have special career days. Um, these are probably not utilised enough by some students, but most of the students who plan to work and start a real career focus very heavily on these. This is a real opportunity to meet some of the, the, the genuine employers out in the world from around different, uh, different places in the world. Uh, you get an opportunity to practice interviews. You get an opportunity to find out what these people are really looking for. And so even if you don't plan to find a job while you're in Switzerland in another country, this will give you an opportunity to understand how you'll be able to get a job past graduation. And again, the support that you're given from both BHMS and our internship department is remarkable. All you need to do is ask. International job placement. Now, this is something that, again, is difficult to really gauge at the moment because the world is changing dramatically. Um, I believe you know, unemployment's at the highest it's ever been in places like the US at the moment. 
which is kind of scary, but they're still able to source jobs for our students, which is remarkable. Their reputation is so good that even at this difficult time, employers are looking for quality graduates. But some of the jobs, as I mentioned, aren't necessarily in hotels, working in back office in a management firm, working for all of these companies. Uh, Vietnamese girl working at the Sheraton in the US, her first job out of um, literally out of graduation. Uh, from Thailand, his first position straight out of the culinary arts class was working at the Hilton in the US. Castelagoga Ranch, an amazing property. This girl being from Taiwan wanted to experience the US firsthand, so we sent her there straight away. As we're all well aware, the world is opening up again. And you'll see some of the examples of the jobs we gave out last year. So these are all very current positions, not just things from the last three years. But uh, again, postgraduate placement in the US, Pelican Grand Beach Resort. Another one at Pelican Grand. JW Marriott uh, in the US. So again, these are amazing positions and amazing properties, especially to be taking up during such a difficult time. Jubri in Charleston, wow. She's worked at La Meridian as well in Dubai. That's an amazing place. Like I said, I sometimes get jealous looking at what our students are doing, so I apologise for that. But uh, one of our Indian students here again, working back in JW Marriott in the US at the moment, uh, that was actually his original goal, so he was very, very happy to be placed there. Castilagoga Ranch. Um, if you're not sure what this place is, I, I challenge you to look it up. Um, quite a remarkable place to be working actually but um, have a little look on there and see if it's a place that you might consider working one day I'm, I'm sure I would like to uh, one of our Thai students again started off working in a restaurant next place she's working is a spa in the US so again internships lead to better positions and if you do a good job in your internship even if it's something you're not familiar with you'll find that we can place you very successfully after that Hotel Galvez and Spa. I'm not sure that I'm familiar with that particular one, but I'm sure it's a nice place. I'm not sure where in the US that is. Uh, Gig might know because I think she knows this young lady. I'm not sure that I've met her yet. But a little bit more on our practical stuff, and this is something that Piram will take you through. We try and make it very easy for you to start any time during the year. Um, obviously, this year things have been a little different, but we still are maintaining eight separate intakes for most of our courses. And in some cases, we've got four intakes for our MSc degree, only two for our MBA. Um, we're thinking about putting a third one on for the MBA degree, but we're just not sure this year. Uh, depends on how many people are coming over. But it gives you an opportunity to start the course at different times. And this is designed so that we can find you high quality internships. If all of our students showed up on the first or in January or February, then in six months, in July, when I need to find those students internships, I need to find 500, which is crazy. The job quality would be terrible. And so by putting different intakes and starting times means I can find students a higher quality internship throughout the year. And as one student comes out of an internship, I can usually place a new student back into that same place to start their internship, which means that the places you're going to have high quality experience in training their interns as well. Now, school fees. Most schools talk about tuition fees. And look, to be honest, as a parent, and I guess also as a teacher, but as a parent, I find that terrifying. If you just told me how much it costs for the books and the teachers, and then I put you on an aeroplane and send you over there, I, I don't want my son ringing me up saying, um, Dad, I, I need some money to eat every week. Um, or oh, uh, they need a deposit for the, the, the place that I'm going to stay in. I need another $2,000 deposit so that I can stay and have somewhere to sleep tonight, Dad. I, I don't really like that kind of thing being sprung on parents after the students have gotten on the plane. And so we're very transparent, we're very open. We try and tell you, look, our fees aren't small. It's quite a lot of money, but it will cover virtually everything. 
So when your child arrives at the school or when you arrive at the school, if you're listening to me now, you can be fairly assured that you're not going to have to hand over lots and lots of cash just to survive in the first few weeks, which unfortunately is the case with a number of other schools um, in many different countries, to be honest. Switzerland is one of the highest highest cost of living in the world. Um, Australia is very high. The US is getting higher and higher as well as we speak. But you don't need to worry about that because, again, we cover meals, accommodation, health insurance, transport, internships, excursions. Virtually everything is covered. I mean, there are a few things we don't cover, uh, things like your own personal travel, uh, buying gifts and shopping, obviously, and, and realistically, we don't cover things like your phone bill. We'll give you a phone card, and I think we give you some credit on the phone card initially, but if you're going to be making a lot of international phone calls, which, let's face it, you probably shouldn't be now, the internet calls are much better, but if you are going to do that, we don't cover things like that, and, and we also don't cover the boyfriend or the girlfriend, so <laughs> that's up to you as well. But uh, pretty much everything else is covered. Uh, all the beautiful stuff. Now, everybody knows that Switzerland is famous for being a picture postcard type of place, and almost everywhere that you go looks beautiful. And literally, one of the reasons for that is because you get all four seasons, and you really do. Um, there will be days in Switzerland where it is as hot as it gets in Phnom Penh. I think we've had it up to 40, maybe 41 last year. I mean, you only get two or three days like that right in the middle of summer, but it does actually get that hot. Most people aren't aware of it. Um, but we also go all the way down well below zero, so you can end up nice and cold as well. But in between, you get beautiful spring and autumn uh, times as well. Some of the most amazing photography is done during uh, autumn in Switzerland. Oops. Can you still see that slide, Gu? I'm hoping, maybe. Not sure if the slide share is still working. No, I, uh, I don't see slide anymore. Okay, there I can see again. Sorry, not sure what went wrong there, but nonetheless. Uh, thanks, Gu. Have I gone backwards in my slides all of a sudden? No, I didn't. There you go. Just some more pictures. Uh, again, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. And um, it's difficult not to talk about this at some stage, because if you've been there, you will want to talk about it. Uh, there's an overview of our city, uh, Lucerne. As I mentioned, it's not a huge city. Basically, you can walk almost everywhere within the city within about 20 minutes. Um, you'll see this lovely green patch right in the middle of the city there with the wall down one side. That's where a lot of our students go to play sport. It's literally a five-minute walk away from the campus. And our beautiful lake, which is quite famous, the water in Switzerland is so clean and so nice. Uh, Andrew, reality... your slide haven't been moved again. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. I'll try again. I'll reshare it. How's that? Okay, I see it's well. It's better. Yep. Talking about the city and talking pictures without seeing the picture is very difficult. So thank you. <laughs> but yes, the, the lake that you'll see here and the river that runs down the centre of the city, literally the water is so clean and clear that you can drink straight out of that. Um, so you can imagine there's no real need to have plastic bottled water everywhere like we do in most countries. And one little bonus of that is no pollution means you'll probably get healthier. I love talking to the students when they come back and say, why did you like studying in Switzerland? And, and most of them look at me funny and say things like, you know, oh, gee, it's a beautiful place to be, or the people are lovely. But I regularly hear from mainly the girls that my hair looks so beautiful and my skin feels amazing because you know, there's no pollution. And it's something that many people don't, or we just take for granted. But our main campus buildings, you'll see our city campus there and Centre Park directly opposite the road. So you can walk straight from city campus to Centre Park within only a few moments. Basselstrauss, one of our accommodation rooms uh, up further up the road, is literally about a seven minute walk. Um, and so not far away. And we do have other buildings as well where people can stay. Uh, and 
again, we don't have a big campus with a huge big gate wrapped around it where you walk inside like a university, they close the door with security behind you. You are actually part of the community when you stay in Switzerland with us. So you can feel much more like a, a, a citizen of the city. Now our lakefront centre, which is way down near the, the train station, as I mentioned, that's nearly a 15 or possibly 20 minute walk. But that's where our main language centre is. So most of the students who utilise that area do so on the weekends in their own time. And it's where you get free use and free access of all of the language resources for, I think, up to 22 different languages you could study there. So quite remarkable. Our main city campus, recently renovated, looks beautiful now. The rooms inside are better than most of the hotels I stay in most of the time. Uh, and again, the campus itself is very, very conveniently located near our main learning centre across the road. But within this city campus, we've got our main reception on the ground floor, our city campus cafe on the ground floor, I'll show you in a moment, but also most of our administration being on the second floor. Our main learning centre directly across the road there on the right hand side. Uh, that's essentially where most of this classes are, for, or especially first year classes are held. And you'll walk straight across the road from our main city campus. There's different styles of classes as well. Some of them will be very practically oriented, um, where you'll get to use and, and do things like wine tasting, uh, service settings, things like that. Uh, some of obviously the culinary classes are extremely practical because they're primarily involved in cooking. But we also have a great deal of days where you'll get an opportunity to meet with businesses or leaders of businesses and industry as well. And, and of course, normal classroom environments are a, a typical day-to-day -day type of thing that everybody goes through. Our kitchen classes are fantastic. I love them. And something you may not be aware of is as a business student or a hospitality student, you may have a little bit of interest in culinary and not the opportunity to study it. Well, let me assure you, if you wish, you can usually volunteer in our kitchen and work with the chefs and culinary students to pick up and learn some skills of your own. And this is not something we charge for. Um, so if you're interested in becoming a little bit of a chef or just want to impress the girlfriend by being able to cook a nice meal, then you know, join one of our classes or volunteer in the kitchen a little bit and you'll get some amazing opportunities to try many different things. Again, we've got three separate kitchens, um, two which we own ourselves, the main city campus kitchen, which is designed to serve large scale groups. But we have a, a special a la carte restaurant as well up in, in one of the other campuses where we specialise in doing service, where the students get an opportunity to literally serve in a restaurant style situation and prepare different styles of meals, different styles of desserts, etc. And we have a third kitchen that we have access to, which is one of the most modern facilities in all of the world, in actual fact. Um, we don't own this particular kitchen. It is that modern, but it upgrades so regularly that we are fortunate enough to be able to utilise those kitchens, uh, I think, most days up until around lunchtime. And uh, the environment that the students get to work in there is quite amazing. Um, some of the latest technologies and newest times of culinary science are performed in those environments too. These slides I just put in here because it makes me really, really hungry, um, which I currently am now looking at these. I don't know about you guys, but I love most of the food that they produce here and uh, the desserts especially make my mouth water. I should have had lunch before I did this. Uh, the Student Vista, as I mentioned, this is the a la carte restaurant. And also we have a bar style restaurant next to it where you can uh, learn, again, things like uh, how to be a barista and different things, uh, bartending and wine services. Oh, you put too many pictures in gig. I'm really hungry now. <laughs> uh, our main city campus cafe, where essentially you'll get treated to a buffet breakfast and buffet dinner every day and uh, a large lunch. Usually you'll have all the food and drinks are supplied. You've got an endless sort of source of coffee and tea and soft drinks and juices there. So you won't go hungry, that's for sure. I usually put on kilos when I go back to Switzerland and uh, then I need to go on a diet in order to fit back into my suits. 
but we also provide for different types of meals. Obviously, we have, I mentioned before, a very large number of different cultures and nationalities and religions studying and staying and eating at the school. So we need to cater for people that eat you know, meat, people that don't eat meat, people that don't eat fish, people that don't eat <laughs> uh, shellfish, people that, uh, as I said, there's lots of different types of foods that we can and, and in amongst all of those, you've got people with allergies. And so we always provide different options for the meals there. Again, uh, the buffet style uh, means that students get to choose what they eat usually. Uh, I, I'm not sure what's available on a day-to-day -day basis there, but you can literally look it up. Um, we actually put out a menu and regularly schedule different types of days where students can enjoy a particular themed meal, for example. Uh, I'm not sure if we've done a Cambodian themed meal recently, but I'm sure we will. Uh, Nade has just joined us, but um, we'll, we'll have a good chat to him later. He might be able to fill us in on some of the different types of food that are provided at the restaurant as well. Oh, like I said, we've got too many of these slides in there. I'm going to get very, very hungry very soon. So. But um, we're getting towards the end of the slides, but I'll just show you a little bit about the accommodation now, because um, we're quite proud of how it's been upgraded recently. Um, as I mentioned, it's nicer than a number of the hotels that I stay at, but um, each room is self-contained. You've got your own kitchen and your own bathroom within the room, so you don't have to be wandering down hallways wrapped up in a towel looking for the shower. Um, in winter, that would be quite uncomfortable, I'm sure. But uh, You'll usually be sharing your room with either one or potentially two or even three other students. Um, but most of the time, if you're sharing with only one student, as I mentioned, you'll have your own kitchen and bathroom. But if you're sharing with more than one student, you'll usually have a separate sleeping area as well as a living space with the kitchen and, and bathroom there. So it's quite spacious and, and generally very easy to keep clean. It's also a very safe environment. Obviously, we've got 24-hour security, 24-hour reception, because we need our students to feel safe in order to be able to study and concentrate on what they're doing. I mentioned included in the fees before, we do do weekly activities and excursions, and this is something that very few places will provide. But on the weekends, we don't really want you to be studying. Swiss education concept is very much about working hard when you're working, but taking the time off to relax, to recharge, to re-energise. And this is what these excursions are all about. We don't want students to show up at the school and then feel like they're stuck hiding in a little basement room somewhere with nothing to do on the weekends. And so we do try and organise some weekly excursions, you know, a trip up the mountains, paragliding or you know, possibly going shopping in Zurich or, you know, up into Germany if the opportunity arises. Um, these things are things we try and encourage students to join and we try and make them free as often as possible so students can come along and enjoy and see some of, you know, real Switzerland, not just the inside of a classroom. And this is something that, as I said, students should take advantage of as often as they can. Most of the second and third year students, I will say, tend not to do these things. They often choose their own activities now that they've got some pocket money saved up from their internships. Some of the lovely photos of the different environments that they go on, uh, trips around the lakes uh, and or way up into the mountains or even just some of the fancy restaurants and beautiful places. There's horse riding, lots of different places to hike around. It really is a truly remarkable environment. Now again, we've always had to take good precautions and I am quite proud to say I believe of the Swiss schools we were the least affected by COVID. But the whole world has been affected by COVID and I need to make that clear. We, we are taking precautions. Um, we don't want you to just to come up to the school and assume you can wander around with no mask and as if nothing's wrong. We still need you to take precautions. Switzerland is a place that likes to remain safe. Uh, if you look at the history of the country, you'll work that out very quickly. But we encourage full safety and precautions, as you would expect in virtually every country at the moment. And as restrictions are eased, things will become more normal. So 
But even if you have a look around now um, and have a look at our YouTube pages and our website as we speak, you'll see currently there are students still going out and about and things have opened up in Switzerland quite comfortably. Graduation. Again, this is the time everybody enjoys and shows off. I've been to a number of the graduation ceremonies and to be honest, the most impressive part for me is meeting the students afterwards and hearing their stories, realising just how confident they are and able to talk with anyone. I've been to a number of graduation ceremonies with other universities, and when I go up and say hello to the graduates, I often go to shake their hand and they'll be like, oh, hi, a little bit too shy to talk. Whereas the graduates from BHMS, I can walk up to them and they, they put their hand out, extend it to me and say, hi, sir, how are you? Nice to see you. And I find that quite appealing to, to know that our students have the confidence to talk to almost anyone. So please, if you are at all interested in anything that I've said today, um, and we'll do a bit more chatting shortly with Gig and Nade and obviously Piram as well, but please, I'd love to come and see you here. Uh, hopefully at some stage in the future we will. There you go. Nade, how are you? Uh, okay. Uh, Nade, so hello. We, hello, Nade. Thank you for coming. So before uh, we will invite you again. So uh, now Mr. Piram will summarize everything in Khmer first. Okay. And thank you for okay. coming earlier. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. So um, thank you, Mr. Andrews, uh, for a briefing about BHMS in Switzerland and such a great uh, uh, information for Cambodian students. So next I'm going to sum up in my language so everybody can catch up with the key points that uh, we've been uh, helping Cambodian students to study in Switzerland. Uh, ຈັ່ງປະປອນຈະຫນຶ່ງໃນການສ້າງ <coughs> ហើយការងារហ្នឹងគឺធានាដឹងតែបានតែម្ដងហើយក៏យើងមានសើសខ្មែរជាច្រើនដែលគាត់ទទួលបានអ៊ីនធើរនស៊ីបហើយថ្
chẳng à nhôm xong sừng khai sân à pi à lẽ can tu tờ pi bát tây suy sân à nhôm nâng châu tờ chậm lại mister andrew tam coi tiệt ba chẳng à bát tây suy cứ à à lập bay khang một pot nâng cứ à bây giờ tới cứ lấy muối khang bị say và để sừng tha được cái nâng cứ đào bờ đôi nam mà hái và à nãy tao nói thì phải chạy đăng pi à bị say hospitality nâng bát tây suy nâng hay suy cứ miền à cột phía ở đông cứ khu ba thầy là hỗ trợ suy cái miền trên nhà chỉ bắt tay tại bàn bằng cá sinh nhà ba ba tổ ban đại chiết đã kiểm tra tra nợ tổ kiểm tra nữa còn miền này là bảy bảy này phía sát trán mà bị bắt tay suy đây bạn bắt tay suy cứ áp chiết cắt áp chiết cắt nó cứ bắt tay suy nó mình mình bẹp pon cho mỗi năm bẹp sầm pon nam mỗi tăng pi số máy số tiền bồi lợt đi thì pi thì mỗi thì pi nó cứ bắt tay suy mình đại mình số tiền mấy họ bồi nam mày cứ bắt tay nó kê tôi nói không là sản phẩm kê tôi nói mấy ai xong bây giờ nói không phải bảo đảm nâng cấp tài sản phẩm miền nào không sản công bảo đảm đây chúng tôi sẽ cứ ai kể hết làm chi cả tất cả này ai nhỉ bạn bản tai bảo đảm phía chi bảo đảm tại miền thôn thiên tràn tràn mình tên bảo đảm tôi thế bản tai miền thôn thiên tràn mà chúng tôi chúng tôi lập kênh cái thuê video bị bảo đảm phía tại youtube nó cứ kê như vậy tràn bảo đảm phía và bảo đảm phía những lập lưu bị khai như thế này còn tay nên dễ tham bắt tay suy cứ bắt tay tay miễn sao bắt tay phiêu của họ chỉ bắt tay máy covid nên có có miễn sao bắt tay phiêu lo đấy là sao ta nói tay suy nên cái miễn cả tập bắt miễn cả cà phê bẹp bòn covid bàn lo bắt sao bạn nhưng bẹp bòn người cam thì sao à cứ nói suy cái cái thì sao tại bây giờ nam thì bạn nhà bạn hay là bạn nhà bạn nó dừng lại thì lại bạn tốt còn dừng lại tạm biệt thì sao bạn đấy chẳng là mua hai cái bàn chỉ suy thì sao tại bây giờ nam là thì sao là cái đầu từ lời cam thì chúng nên sót ở miền là dân tiến sát phòng đời sân được là bây giờ mình vẽ con chúng nhìn này chân dân cho nên phép tên khai là của dân hiện tại bây giờ nam hay cảm thấy xa kết nó cứ dân là bàn xe nhà bạc bí bí suy phong bí 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 uk phòng và hai xong tạp và nộng tất cứ cái xa tạm ạch nam thế hai bàn xe nhà bạc bí được nha bí uk nóng suy được nha và ở vẽ con cho môi nâng cốt nộp hiếp nơi là bí chú mấy cứ kịp đau tờ lỡ bôn chồng nội cư thì mỗi cái cốt nó phía phía xa và thống và thả tí phí cứ vẽ bọn nâng cài cho cam xa xa đài xa lại kia thì nế ổ chung sợ anh ta chết nâng hay thị bấy cứ ca bọn nâng cả bị bọt luôn hay nâng tị bố nâng cứ ca nghe đo nịt sất cơ bèm chọc cả xa nâng cứ chia khẩn sấp môi tập bọt xa lại bị ế chẳng mẹ và chứ nhóm xong mơ bà nhà bị ưu tờ hò vì cảm thấy tôi nhìn thấy những cái xem đi mỗi thì bị bị bầy hay chẳng kể sẽ xa vào mỗi khái kê cho cảm sẽ xa buôn được vào mỗi khai chẳng được đọc bây giờ cho bạn nhạc bắt cư dân bán sẽ nhạc bắt bị hay bạn nhạc bắt nó cứ mình chẳng nên bị mình là Hotel and Hospitality Management nâng mỗi chức cực global business management hay mình chẳng nên chức cực mình khang khang dân hai trong phối culinary arts nâng cứ tự tu bán sẽ nhạc bắt bị 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 anh ấy cảm thấy anh nội mình rất cứ cái sự xa ta mà chúng nam thế tôi vẫn khởi nhớ cứ sự xa vào mỗi khai hay cho cảm xa buồn là vào mỗi khai hay giống miền pi chủng nến cứ tàu tàu lơ international hospitality business management hay là global business management hay ban status nhà mặt pi pi bhf hms là tàu bớt gọi là university hay là miền mũi chết cứ mba nó cứ đôi khi như thế mà còn tại mba ban sẽ nhà mặt pi send cho University hay năng bia cho mày và anh ấy cứ lẽ cái nãy bị say mối tiếc là sao mà đáp anh ấy sắp đặt coi thử xa nó suy nó cứ cứ dương sự xa nó suy bây giờ tại dương thật đó suy cứ khang xả cái năng chui thở tại sân đình permit ở dưới cho dương ai ta cạn nó dương ai ta lên nơi mà phải bầm mồi bật tê dương khơi tầm bón bỏ xoay nhỉ bỏ xoay nhưng mà phải bầm mồi bật tê nó dương ai ta lên tầm bật tê na cả bán ai chắc nặng nơi bàn mà khai tập bay khai đó chẳng mạch nó xong vì giá tiết cho thầm mây chẳng giờ bảo sân dưỡng tư sử xa nơi bật tế ổ xử lý dưỡng ảnh trên tầng nà bàn kẹp bị ổ xử lý tế 
nhưng ta mới thấy có giờ ai trên tận nhà ban kẹp biển mới thấy ta sắp đặt ở bờ tây mũi không chặt nào bờ tây là không tầm bắn sinh nhật nắng chiếu sách cứ suy không tầm bắn sinh nhật ai ta từ bờ tây này các bạn mà pay mà pay bây giờ top từng suy cứ mà pay mũi bờ tây đó trong bài sơn sông thật thà cả đây và chân dương ai tin bộ tập lớn bộ chân thoát chân dương mèo cao từ score bài đăng score là món cứ trai mình tên và anh cứ lẹ lại phải xem mũi bẹ pon chỉ mũi cà sa nước suy nắng chấm phu ngay cho hiến cứ khai sang ngọt khai giải thang sang ngọt khai và ai tầm lấy đi đôi dân khơi chẳng tầm lấy bà sơn dân mơ tầm lấy chưa kịp chọc nó cứ tầm lấy nữa mình chỉ thay bà mạn bà sơn tiếp tiếp tổ xử lý làm đấy cứ mình chỉ thay bà mạn đấy bàn tay bà sơn dân ai dân cho cam sửa xa của mỗi khai nó cứ dựa anh nó so phải khai mà của mỗi con chứ dựa anh mà tu tuột nơi cho mỗi thay xa này bạn hãy thay xa lá chứ kính chọc cứ thay xa lá thay xa nạ nơi thằng thay mà hốc cái lạc nạ bù phê mình thay bày phê hãy nâng là thay tình yêu đạp tổng sọc phép nóng thay xem xe chứ nóng operating expanding và chẳng tầm lấy mũi tiết cứ đã xa dân miên là đo à hà thủ cò chân viền thu thay chẳng là tầm lấy dân khơi ní tầm bất dân bóng ở đó bằng nghề ta xa tôi nhung bạch trạng chẳng thay dựng ai thơ càng nghe cảm thấy sáng nó đã ban phải khai pi pon pi o si phẳng nó về sma nó pi pon theo mỗi đô la về càng chẳng ai vô phải khai nó mà tu tuột cho mỗi nó thay sáng để bàn khai đại bạn ok chẳng là nhung xong sự khai thường phần nắng hay anh đại tao nói ai đại chi sầm nua mà mà su càng không càng nghe dân bán nơi pel mình tự tiến của bán dân ai giờ xua biển lời của bạn này bạn chắc là tầm mọi cái mọi khác pel dù nhưng nâng mình to từ việc mình dùng nhận thiết cứ lô nét căn này bạn chắc là suốt đây nhóm hai nhiều số bốn nhiều số bốn đại học này và dân ở đây bạn vậy thì đại học đã khởi một nông facebook và Hello, I'm going to talk to you about the data. Hello, I'm going to talk to you about the data. Do you have any data? Nade, Nade. 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 Okay, Nade. I'm going to talk to you about the data. I'm going to talk to you about the data. I'm going to talk to you about the data. Hay quát bàn đặc biệt tập tam để chân xây mũi tiệt bàn mà mình khang phát sản stadium đó còn sản sản xây những bong bạch trạng khai miền bảy hà em xây mũi chân bảo ôn thì muốn á bạn thay này quát bàn chơi nhà châu thôn chỉ việc mình cứ tự do dân đòi đã xa quát ông phong là xa khang thạnh an nội bình định bị é nắng nơi khang bị chấm ảnh nước biển nắng hay có quát lọp cho đó chỉ cho cam và sáng nào mà đánh tiết và thầy bảo vì sao trả làm tên bệnh bọn xuyên chắc là có mọi khát bê dụ nhưng mà xong chơi nhà nó đẹp mà cho đúng là bây giờ xoay xoay một thầy bệnh bọn cam thi dù mình tìm hiểu thầy nắng á và bà bạn mà chẳng ờ so ờ ờ ờ ờ ờ ờ Uh, I think uh, it's your part to introduce Nade. Ah, right? Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, hello, Nade, and everyone. Actually, for Nade, we talk about like every two days, right? Uh, everyone, yes. Nade is our alumnus. Actually, he is my longtime brother. Uh, he is not only my brother, but actually for all of our Cambodian students. So if anyone wants his recommendation, he also feel free to like uh, help about like give the good advice right about studies yeah about like about how to live in switzerland yes uh okay so today uh we have nade here so nade can you please introduce yourself again if you haven't introduced yourself okay yeah okay okay first of all i would like to say i like, like greeting everyone in Cambodian language and my name is nade i come from suong city uh, the Mong Kong province and i came to study in bhms in 2016 and i think i graduated in 2018 it's yeah. quite a long time and about studying in bhms is the best experience for me ever because about the lifestyle in there about the how this how we are study everything is completely different from other school that i have experienced before especially about the six month internship about the six month studying period and about also um also i can travel almost around the world i can say that it's part of the world yeah <laughs> this is I the best part ever yeah that is uh 
today I have you as my good brother, right? I also have my good colleague Andrew as well, who will come to help talk uh -huh. with you. Yeah, so okay. we will have our good like warm discussion. So Nadek, okay. if if we go back to two thousand sixteen, uh, sixteen, right? When you yes. uh, start our school, so why do you shoot? Uh, Switzerland at first because of course you can have opportunity to study in many countries and why you choose to study at BHMS yeah you can answer uh, in Khmer language don't worry yeah okay okay ចំពោះការដែលខ្ញុំជ្រើសរយោស្វីសឡែនមកជាស្រឡាដែលខ្ញុំត្រូវមកហ៊ានពួកថាដំបូងគឺខ្ញុំមានអភិជនធីតែហ
and they don't speak German, the guy at the Five Star Hotel says, right, you can do security. Don't talk to any of my customers ever. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> and a problem. That's their job. Yes, yes. They get to work yes. in a five-star place. Fantastic. Uh, Whereas if they listen to our internship department, who are there to provide jobs that will help you work further into your career, they'll put yeah. you into a position where you'll learn what you need to learn. Whether it's a five-star, a four-star, three-star, I don't care. They're very good at doing it. And if you listen to them, they will help you get to where you're trying to go to. And you're the perfect example of this. I mean, I'm still looking at some of the clothes that you provide. And every time I see you, you're always dressed so well, I need to get a catalog from you. But um, <laughs> and, and some of our other students, they, they talk to me about how they first didn't want to do that internship, but it turned out to be the best learning experience of their life, often in small yep. little chalets or strange little boutique places where they're doing every job. Um, so, so trust in the process and trust in the internship department if you can. And, and when you're at school, if for some reason you feel like the internship department's not doing their job for you, call me. Call Gig. Call, call Nade, probably. Even if you'd probably be really good. <laughs> yes. 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 Um, yes. Trust us, we are doing our best to get you further in your career, not to make you work harder or not to make you do terrible jobs. Bottom line is, if you want to become a CEO, you need to learn the very basics at some stage. And That's you know, right. I, I, I'm sure at some stage you would have been asked to clean some dishes or sweep some floors or something somewhere. No, and now, now you're the CEO of your own company. So it's the kind of thing in reality, it's an important learning process yeah. for all of us. Yeah, um, I'm supposed to be asking you I, a yeah. question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah actually, I can't I, tell you that. I also... Uh, yeah. yeah, you can start because yeah. you know um when yeah because when you know, you know when I was at school um when I when, when I was school I can see the difference between the student from the first year that they just fresh came to the school about their attitude and then when I see them when they are come back from internship it's completely two different person they are more mature they are more grow up after internship that's why I. I like to, uh, when the student, their first year come, I, I try to tell them, please accept the internship that the school offer you because you're okay. going to, you're going to see what it's changed in the, in, in, uh, in the future. And then when they are come back, I see, oh, you are so grow up a lot. It's not the same. Yeah. Like I see you before in the first year. Yeah. That is the secret weapon because for my work experience with PSAC, all of that students never have problem with internship, right? Piroms. Yeah. Because yeah. they um, also did very well. Yeah, uh, it's because I told them before they fly to Switzerland that uh, they need to be patient. Uh, if we talk about the uh, yeah. uh, salary wax, it is more expensive than in Cambodia. So you need to be mm -hmm. uh, more patient <laughs> so that uh, you can earn some credit. Mm -hmm. So in the future, you can find uh, overseas jobs easily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because they may have overseas yeah. opportunity to yeah. work further as well with that. Mm -hmm. Yes, and as I, I always uh, uh, tell them before they fly. Ah, oh, that's very yeah. good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Literally, I, I figure it's probably worth asking a very direct question about your internship. You, I mean, yep. did you ever did you learn any specific things? I mean, it's hard to put into perspective the different types of things you will learn on an internship because they're all such different learning experiences. But was there anything specific you could talk about that you picked up from an internship at all? Oh, about my about my internship is very um uh, the internship that I really learned the most in the last internship because I had the opportunity to offer to work in the school restaurant. So oh, I, really? I can yes for sure. So that's why I can uh, I I have the communication with all the students. I can see all the student behavior. So how to how, how to handle with other students? How to it, it, it can be good for me because I need to, for example, when I have my own business, how can I, I need to be handled with a different customer? What is different, uh, what is a difficult customer? What is the easygoing customer? I learned a lot from that. Be flexible. Yeah, work, this is the best part of Working across different cultures, working across different yes. people and understanding. I, I find that's one of the most fascinating parts of our job as well. Yeah. Uh, working in this industry, in any form of hospitality, but international industries, you get to meet such different yeah. characters. Yeah, uh, so now that's fantastic. Um, I guess 
in helping your own business, it was mainly the communication that improved more than anything else because you were able to understand, I'm, I'm guessing working in, a, in the, the campus cafe, you probably learned to read body language fairly well too, getting a chance to observe the group. Oh, sure. So I find that a fascinating yeah. thing to do in my part time too. Um, yeah, we also have one of the students from PSAC. Uh, our, my my sister, actually PSAC sister, she is also doing internship at the front office. Yeah, at the receptionist as well mm. at the school. Yeah, and she is doing well. Yeah. Uh, Piram, you want to add in Khmer language? Uh, so, uh, uh, the Orkney, uh, uh, the sad, I can't yum yum. អាសាតជ័យជាមួយសិស្សខ្មែរយើងច្រើននៅខាងស្វីនឹងពះពន្ធជាមួយនឹងអ៊ីនធឺនឹងគឺអឺចំពោះណាតែគាត់អាចនិ
trong chậm nói nắng nhâm sông bị chết thì đấy có miền là như sắt khay nhưng khay còn lơ cả đôi chả là đê đá cứ nó bây giờ có sầm lại chết đã biết từ xa nơi bờ tây phía nước cứ còn ai che phía xa môi tiệt cả vì phía xa ông lề và chẳng vì chỉ riêng môi là o sầm lại quá đó của tam cấp bốn này cài hiện phía xa cái này chính che phía xa cái này trang cái này là o bàn tay cái này nhâm sông bị chết thì ta cảm thi từ xa nơi xa là bị chỉ mấy cứ kê từ xa che phía xa ông lề bàn tay bây giờ là đàn đen giấy cứ xa là cái miền cảm thi ở dương thiên phía xa bờ tây nước thay môi tiệt là mình cất lại để chẳng dừng ai cho thời tiên phía xa là món tiên phía xa italy phía xa và đáng được có phía xa chấn bàn và tại bởi dương trong miền nào cả trang người dương tiên phía xa là món và chẳng khai dương lắm và lại nắng và bàn tay à bóng ai xong số thích là đã đến bao 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 dương chụp ở sạn với clan ở bờ tây suy nó ngả nó chăm bệnh nhưng thở bộ bờ tây được còn là để ai sừng khai chỉ bị sạc mai chun cái dương sạn thịt bạn nhưng mà sừng khai chỉ bị sạc mai bạn bỏ quần tham mà đó này ở mà đó này cứ bờ tây suy cứ chỉ bờ tây mũi đại miên sọc sàn được tiếp là bên tây nhưng mà thở miên ở bờ sạn ấy chớn cứ ở bờ sạn nhưng mà mũi cứ thiệt xa nó mỏng bỏ và đặc biệt của tha tăng bị ca tăng 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 bị ca đa tăng bị ca tăng tăng bị ca riêng tăng bị ca thời điểm nào thì cho ít nhiều nhiều em thấy thay dương thời miền của thân nặng được có dương miền thấy thấy thay cứ miền kia lại là thay kê ca rồi ai cứ ấy cứ ăn miền sọc mỏng này này đặc biệt đến tới đặc biệt đến tới cứ tha dương mà này này nhưng mà bạn tham gián cứ communication cứ thay thay dương từ sai chạy tông dương trong chạy tông buổi đêm lúc khó cứ hiện bạn đã xa đã phải đã xa đã phải phía xa tất cả vì nó cứ ăn miền sọc mỏng chấm phố ốp sạ chấm phố sờ gì cái nơi sọc mai nó là tam bản đai ông bà to sớm rồi bà phố than nơi bà bà phố than nơi tam bật tay xem xem bao nhiêu khơi đôi chìm miên cái than đôi thay dương chìm ở dương chìm chân chết ở gì ở lại nó cái miên cái thằng ở thạc lơ thằng ở gì phụ dương đôi ở thạc ở thạc lơ con sờ gì đại phụ thay kia rồi ai cũng chẳng bỏ tay nơi suy ở miên sọc ở miên sọc mỏng bỏ bà chẳng cái thằng phụ ở nơi bên nhân tới cái thằng ba mạ bị chôn ai con con mà hiện nơi sờ lại ở mà hiện sờ lại nơi cứ bộ quạt bên ở cứ ở cứ bộ quạt bên thì nó chết hay bộ quạt được thay ở thay cứ ở bên chun con mà bật bật tết đấy sau sáu bài cứ ăn bên bảo đảm thay côn thử thử bên kẻ thay được còn mạnh mẽ bên từng ở còn nó cứ chỉ chậm nói đẹp ba mạnh thay tốc chết và anh nói riêng khơi sáu bài covid nhưng cái miền bắc nhà hà trang bàn tay ca là bật tết suy chi bật tết là bật phía các bộ phận phát nó mình mình ta khang dương được ăn thì dễ cứ nhưng khi nhà mai anh tu tới cứ quạt tay là ta sao speed nồng chiếm sách nhà đặc lập ban từ lấy nhà nơi bờ tây speed quạt chờ nên giấy thay bờ tây speed cứ bật việc cấp phu và tiếp tiếp từ bờ tây nơi xem phim nhà đọc và cái chân à ca để là để liên phía sau là mong nó sọc mai nó liên nó sải nào đây và nơi phía sau là mong nó sọc mai nhưng hiện nay ở đối chiếu miền nơi đối diện mấy cái thịt bát đấy bông này cái kết này ở nơi sài gòn cái lạnh meta house còn mấy meta meta house bạn meta house bông ok chăng và còn nữa là bà sơn chưa nhìn sát chưa còn chạm vào đóm nhưng ai ta hiện tịch tuổi chẳng tới tay cam thì xa nơi suy nghĩ cứ dừng xa chỉ bị xa ông lề thì và ta bị xa nâng con chỉ bị xa thay bằng kẻ nhưng ai ta bị xa ban khai bia là mòn rồi mà ok so i think you may Continue with your questions. Okay, before I move to Andrew's questions, because Andrew has something to add as well, can I ask for ask? I mean, if in case you haven't answered that yet, maybe can I ask for my students? Because some of my students, even in English, even for English, they already struggle. Okay, so they would like to know if they don't know German at all. Another, do you think they can survive studying and staying in Switzerland? Or if they don't know German at all for study is not is not a problem because you know like um, you study in the hospitality school so that's why it's about tourists it's about um, people um, traveling so English is the international language so that's why you just English study in here do the internship in here is enough. Yes. Okay. This is uh, this is from my experience. 
Yeah, and I noticed that you still keep your good English. So that means normally Swiss people they can speak English well, right? Um, yes, but it, but you know because from uh, from uh, from my workplace. From my workplace, uh, I can say I'm working in the diversity uh, environment. So that's why people people they use a lot uh, in different language. Some people they use um, in Brazil language or something like that. So that's why in at work I also sometimes speak English with the customer, speak German with the customer, and sometimes I learn extra when the customer they come to ask me in French language. So that's why for me I try to keep searching what is French language to to, <laughs> to satisfy my customer. Yeah, it is, yeah. it's it's a challenge for me. Yeah, I think I can notice from your passion that you love to learn languages. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, just being right. able to say hello and goodbye in a local <laughs> language can make a big difference to somebody's purchasing decisions, as you're probably well aware. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, in that's the correct. That's the point. You say yep. a nice word to them in the right language, and they give you a bigger tip at the end of the day. So, yeah, no, I like yes. money, so it works well. But, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, you... Gig and I have known each other for probably, what, about three years, I think, now? But you and Gig have known each other for a long time now, I think. Um, yeah. Gig's mentioned to me before that you've lived, uh, I think she mentioned you lived in the US and um, also in Switzerland and obviously Cambodia before. Yeah. You know, what what, yep. what were some of the differences? Can you point out any of the differences between the different countries? Um, uh, between this, uh, because, you know, like, uh, it's a lot of different things because you, I, I, I can say first, culture different. In Cambodia, we have a different culture. In Switzerland, we have different culture. In USA, they have different culture. And about people also different. It depends on the location that uh, that uh, that I live. Yeah. So that's why, for example, I live, I, I live in the sun, people are different. Live in Cambodia, people are different. And then uh, in Switzerland, or in, in USA, people also um, different. And about 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 that, uh, like, Bong Pierum, he had mentioned before. Why, why I have a chance to study, uh, to study and to live in another country? Why I choose Switzerland? Because, for example, he 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 had mentioned about USA. In USA, if you study there, you will stuck in USA. For me, I love to travel, so that's why when I go to study in Switzerland, okay, I I've been in the first uh, in the first time that I have the term the term break, I decide my solo trip to Paris. Wow! So that's amazing. Yeah. So, uh, so that's why that's why I choose Switzerland because I can travel freely to other countries. It is one of the things that I've always talked about with some of the students who've asked me the same question. I mean, if you study yeah. in Australia, Canada, you know, New Zealand, America, even the UK, really, you, you, you're going to learn English. You'll study in English. You'll probably visit the same country and mm. maybe a couple yeah. of different places yeah. within the same country, but you're never yeah. going to get outside of that area. Yeah. Whereas in Switzerland, there's so many opportunities literally within two hours drive, yeah. different countries, different places that mm -hmm. you, you have no choice but to, to deal with multiculturalism and, and diversify. Mm. So that's really good. Um, I, I guess in some ways, the other thing that would probably be worth talking about from the, the university or the school's perspective whilst we're here is the, the postgraduate placement or finding jobs afterwards. Um, in the past, we've sent a lot of students all over the world, but obviously Cambodian students tend to have a preference or lean towards going to the US. Um, it seems to have been a bit of a, a trend for many, many years. Um, uh, Gig, you might want to even add to this a little bit, but um, the, the students that generally, we once they've graduated from uh, BHMS, often desire to go to the US, and we seem to have a pretty good run of sending students to different parts of the US and different businesses in the US as well. Um, is there anything that you can think of that we should add to any of that gig um, in terms of the different places or the, the, the opportunities actually, available to them? Yeah, actually they don't. Actually they don't even. Uh, they don't have opportunity only in the US. Okay, so they can also have opportunity to work after graduation in other hospitalities countries. For example, for mm -hmm. my direct experience, for my Thai students, some students they go to Dubai. Okay. Uh, and some students even go further to Jamaica, okay, it's very far. So, uh, or some students, they go to Maldives as well. Or some students come back to Thailand to join its kind of management training programs with our assistants. So for the work placement after graduations, you have opportunity to work overseas so you can contact our master work or our internship office for that. 
yes okay anh chẳng ngài nhóm xong xu chỉ khai với một đó là bẹp bọn chỉ mùi nâng ở bọc đi sọt bọn là đây nơi bắt tay xuyên lên xa tỏa mà đây cho nên dọc mai dưới nâng bằng tay môn nâng xu xung nối nhưng mà anh xong xu xung nối to luôn mùi ta và mang chẳng đi là đẹp bán tờ lên và mang bắt tay nơi đọc nâng mà nhân lưu thang bán tờ bà rắn nơi bà rí và vừa thay dự tới bằng nhóm ở nơi bê đại nhóm bảo hiểm này bảo hiểm này bị ếch bác cứ nhóm ở nhóm khỏi nhóm thạc bán ban 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 thập biệt kiểm thập biệt nền nền nên cứ riêng ai travel free ở tây bắc tây nam ở bắc tây nên không được bằng rộng bàn nên cứ thay nhóm chấp đam sản lịch bảo nhóm từ bốn cứ nhóm chẳng từ khi thu fl nên tới nên bây giờ thêm bảy chấp đam thêm bảy thì cứ nhóm cứ nhóm tây bắc tây kiểm về tới bằng nhóm từ học từ nhóm nhóm thọ từ bổ lôi phong nhóm thọ từ alamang thọ từ parang hay nhóm từ vì thế chờ 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 anh kháng các bạn can đại can nâng mũi hay nâng hay nâng passport riêng trong 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 tên ai của bạn bạn thì đặc biệt tính nhóm squad culture chờ lên 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 bạn chờ bị bị khai chờ bị xin xin chúc cái này cái này chết lọp bạn từ lấy nhé ở cái này cái này không plan bằng vấn đề tầm quan trọng đặc biệt từ lấy covid nhiều tên nào rồi ok mà bây giờ phong chỉ mỗi nâng cái thời gian căn ở đây sẽ đến phần mít những ai ta từ bắt tay ban và dân họp từng bắt tay suy cứ mà thấy phần mồi bắt tay nên tầm bán sinh nhật nắng bà sân chơi nơi sát dân nơi bắt tay xã tội ở đây nơi ô sơn lý nơi như sơn quật và bạn anh tích đại gia tại dân căn lịch khách long đan máy cầm bồ điền passport nắng dân miền miền trong thời gian difficult to apply for visa visa là quật chơi chơi student á chơi chơi con sa chẳng dừng à đảm bảo dừng sốt dừng tập luyện và tay mũi dừng thở apply xong mà visa 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 test cho nó đảm bảo dừng chỉ con sốt dừng à phục bạn xong và bây giờ mình phục phục nó đảm bảo support luôn này nhé chẳng bàn gì sát cái máy để có thể sang được và tay Australia nơi New Zealand để có thể tập luyện những con phục bạn trên đầu và tay xem tiếp tại sao xong bây giờ Australia nơi New Zealand nó chụp những con phục bạn trên này tại sao tại dừng chỉ con sốt và tại chẳng bàn là chỉ chụp nó bị sai mũi bảo và tay Switzerland nó à tổng thể dựng ai ta ban chuẩn bắt tay ở trong bánh phong visa tiết tế mà chắc là bẹp bọn nâng xung nô đài em thú có xua chỉ bị sao ông lấy một nâng cứ xua bẹp bọn chỉ mùi nâng ở bọt bị sao nên cái thua nâng tầng bay bắt tay nâng cứ bắt tay Swiss land ra tỏa bắt tay nâng dọc mai nâng tao mình chấm nó khó khai nê ích là đà nâng ổn này ai xong khai bằng tích bản này bạn miền tây bắc chấm po ở nơi chấm po nơi ẩm rệt hay chấm po nơi dọc mai dương hay chấm po nơi bắt tay speak cứ ở vậy với cái việc khóc lại cái này chẳng bao giờ phải được thắc, nó phải ô ô ô thì họ thắc nó phải để dân cho tại Mỹ dân thời gian đang thắc họ chấp nhận để cái thời mấy ở dân thời ở cái cái thời thời khai dân thời ban dân thời ở dân thời ban phải đáp về và sau đó phải đặt nơi sốt mấy cái dân nơi sốt mấy sẽ quay nhầm đang thắc khai chơi về việc mấy, cho nên phải để dân cho tại Mỹ dân thời lớn khai chơi về vấn đề Mỹ, thay vì ở thay vì việc mấy hay là phải đặt nơi nơi vấn đề speak khai chơi về mấy tại và sau đó bây giờ phụ nhóm nhóm đi sai chỉ hơi do Swiss Land bóng của thà ở nơi này standard living hay chỉ mỗi nơi à việc thà cái hai thà structure là structure chỉ một people là stay here cứ cơ quan hiệp trọng ở dương thầm thầm mà chọc chấp bắp ở cái nơi Am Rich, cái nơi Nam Rich, nơi khác mình insurance của bạn, Am Rich insurance của bạn, thay nơi phải đại dương, nơi phải đại dương chứ cứ dương, cứ dương phun cỏ. Tại bữa sáng mình nói speak cứ chấp bắp nơi này cứ đại khái dương thầm insurance. Tại vì cứ viên viên phải giàu nhập nhôm để sai phong, nơi phải đại nhôm chứ nhỏ mình thở bao lôi thì cứ kê ở cái cái chuôi mà chọc từng ao mồ. Chắc nhôm 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 cái thà tăng thì chấp bắp tăng thì vậy vậy. Nhôm nhôm cái thà là biệt thà standard living system bao nền này sang chơi cái hiệp trong máu cứ nơi Switzerland cứ cái hiệp trong bán là ở trên nam mỹ. Anh ấy chụp bao bị sao bao nhôm. Ok. Tại à bây giờ vậy nơi Switzerland nó là đôi ta là đây thọ mình bắp sao từ bờ tây. Xin chuyện nào đọc nó là dùng tiếp tiếp nữa đó có xong ta không nên chờ đây mình đây mà không nên không nên không nên chờ bằng không nên chờ của thay nhôm khơi vì của thay tam địa thay ở địa infra ở infra infrastructure để phải đại nhôm ô tô thay nhôm phải nhôm phải nhôm tự đo ở nhôm nhôm tự đo nhôm tự đo phải rắn nhôm tự đo phải rít nhôm khơi là việc thay phép sạch chụp clean ở chụp clean thực không nhiệt lạnh nơi speak cứ sạch clang ở mình ở địa thay mình sạch thầm thà tiếp theo phía bên anh làm máy hay nên là việc thay ca thay để sao ở bờ tây bắc cái cứ việc thay sầm nhám cứ cái việc chăm ấy sụp bùn từng ó mình đang tới cứ nơi bên đây nơi bên đây nhôm tới bản nhôm nơi khơi ở nhôm nơi khơi cái lại là biết tại tại khởi chăng á bóng nơi bên đây nhôm mà đó biết cứ thay lại là biết chấn cứ cao sấp phía rồi clean 
chẳng tới cứ đặt cái hay chấm phun biết thắt transportation nơi 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 speed tụ bay này tụ bay này anh nơi cửa lọc liền ná của mình transportation tự đòi chẳng tới dương bạch thay thời thắt thời tinh lan của ai cái của ai biển này chẳng có nhóm hoàng ngay nhóm nhóm chị nhóm trẻ tiếp tới được thua cao hoàng ngay là lan cái đó mình chụp nơi mục tè chẳng cứ với mẹ bằng coi lại cái đại nghi sủa đòi nhầm nơi phun ở trong phun cao hoàng nơi này đôi con sa dương ở bữa sau bữa con sa dương mà hiện nơi đi cả đâu đời thay trong ở trong tất cả lên nơi 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 cứ miền transport test tăng cứ tập đo cái này nó mong chốt nó một cái này nó một chương trình bài tập khoa thà quay nó quay nó làm món nào biết bỏ từ vì bà coi lại cái này như sủi chẳng và sân đối thoại ô tô thoại và sân đẹp đẹp nhầm cái nhầm nơi mới đây bằng cái nhầm nơi mới đây nhầm trong tới đầu cái lại cái lại nam muối đây là thoại bằng đặt trường phủ nhựa miền làn ở bên transport test tăng bỏ cái cái ác sự ác sự ác sự sự bố của ở đây bên trên này bên trên thở làn và mà chương trình nhầm và đẹp đẹp nhầm đặc biệt tầm khăn đặc biệt nhầm bàn bạc bỏ bọc thay với cái ảo định sập đã bê đăng tay chắc cứ việc của bạn nhẹ nhõm đã bê nhóm mà nợ mà nợ speech chẳng chỉ làng trong tự đo nãy chẳng chỉ tự đo nãy tự đo bắt bị sao nhóm nhóm club từ lấy nhà mình đấy bà bà thằng thà làng trong hay là tập lương vào sơ sơ bố chân dương tập ta uber uber thì có kẹp nó nhóm ta mà chân chậm nay trai mình tên bà 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 hay dương chỉ uber về pe club dương ở sơ mẹ tao bắt tập hiệp rồi dương chỉ ở tập lương làng trong này vừa sang chân tập mình này ai nhớ bà ok anh chắc nhóm mà xong xua xong nuôi và top tiết là xong nuôi nó nhóm năng ăn chỉ bị sao ông lấy hay nhóm bị trai chỉ bị sao cái máy làm bài ở hàng việt mình chỉ có snap bàn đại chẳng á hay năng ở cái sạc máy có bàn chồi lại anh chắc là xong nuôi và top nó cứ can you please share your tips for future Cambodian students to succeed and benefit from studying in Switzerland at BHMS anh chẳng à cứ xong mọi à nó đã chui chạy một lấy bọt bị sao xong rồi đặt mình sắt mai dương à xem xem tiệt đã cốt mình chẳng nào bảo tâm từ xa nơi bờ tây nơi khèo bờ tây mà như hai khèo bờ tây sân cho ai ta thấm bảy ao cốt mình à ban trở lại bây giờ bị cà xa nơi bờ tây Switzerland nó chụp xét cứ nơi xa bị chìm mạch nè bà bà chấm phố bọt bị sao được bọt nhưng tôi à thiếp đại nhóm trong vài tập đoàn và ôn phong đại quạt màu hiệp tam của ở nơi bên ở lực lực khỏi nắng giữa mình tha sư 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 lãnh được của mình tha nơi bia chẳng bài hình tìm mũi cư dương thật be ready cái thà tìm khuôn sinh nhập mà đập nơi khá chơi nơi bật tế kê bọc 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 tế kê hay dương thời dương thay chấp bọc tế kê mình ấy khá dương ở dương bạch thời dương sắp tất ở dương phản đại dương là vậy vậy thật sẽ đại dương ai thật bán sẽ đại dương cũng thờ nơi bật tế kê nâng hay đọc đọc bên đọc bên đại dương tìm khuôn lưu hai dương thời cực mơ thay cô mà bọc dương dương mà hiện sổ kéo cư dương chẳng bán ấy chứ cứ cứ thả stick to stick to your plan hay đọc bên đọc bên đại dương mình stick to your plan hay cư dương thời đọc bên đại dương mà đo xa là pay attention dương thời cơ thể hay năng practice nơi không class nơi 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 không class bởi dương dương nơi khác nơi bên dương chậm nay lui rộm mờ rộm mờ mờ hiện mờ hiện nó sọc kề dương cứ dương thời thời mạnh đã cầm phần tiền do mà quên nhỉ à nó về ở ở ở ở ở ở chăm phút ở đây dân chăm bàn nơi không ở nơi nó không xa lạ xu ở dưới thời xu khủ thác ở ở xu khủ miên ở miên tham miên ở xay mình thay em đưa có mấy mấy đứa bên cái gì như tự ở dân thời cầm ở yên tĩnh bất thác không phần ở dưới thạc bởi đội nhông vĩnh cư try to take everything as much as possible from the school from the internship from the lesson and then chăm phu mua xem tiết cứ nhóm ca learning language về đặt thay nhóm biết nhóm cứ nhóm biết plan thay nhóm nhóm trong thuê ca được sổ kê chứ cứ nhóm không phải 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 sao bây giờ bọn con con trong thuê ca được sổ kê dương tên này bữa nay cái đó giờ chắc phải sao kê bạn nghĩ bạn ca nghĩ là ôi chứ cứ dương cứ dương không phải không phải hiện hiện phải sao hay chăm phu nhóm đào tên là chăm phu b h m s cứ quạt miên provide nơi special special activity cứ quạt non côn sợ đại lê dân tới cái thay nó phải để dân nó trong cầm lòng phải để dân hiền nó cứ dân ở phố khá hiền sau đó cứ con sợ ai stress nó phải tất sự xả lãi cứ miễn phá đo offer non dân non dân đại lê nằm bây giờ bản thu ở rộng nơi tàn tân chân tới đập đập của thác đại lê mùi xả lãi cứ free bỏ dân khỏi đi cho chúng tôi enroll mình mùi xả lãi cứ dân ai đại lê mùi xả lãi bạn đập bên này cứ chia cứ ai thay dân xếp lùi chẳng phụ xe lối của ta dân ai explore nơi dù rộp nắng cư ban ban đại số hay nâng ban ban đại số đến xa dân đa lên người xe lái dự án thời miên chẳng ai lươi đặc ác cư xe lái này trên những ổ bởi xe bởi dân mẹ nào cả 
campur uh, pesan by Jemaah yang Nabi HMS. I guess in some ways it's very much like uh, we, we often tell our students we provide you with a lot of opportunities, but if you don't take them up, they, they, providing them there's no use. I mean, the, the facilities, like you mentioned, for language learning there are amazing and what the teachers yep. will offer. If you're prepared to take the time, I mean, a lot of students are, you know, let's say a little lazy from time to time, but if you really do focus your time in Switzerland when you're there, you can get a lot of very useful information and skills to develop there and and we give you the facilities to do all of this type of thing you know, like the old saying goes we can show you the door but you've got to open it so if you're planning to open the doors to opportunity you you need to open the door yourself we can show you where it is but if you're not prepared to sit down and do it you won't get much out of it so no, that's great um, this up your wrong should we open the q and a sections for students to ask because yeah, it's quite uh, quiet. Yeah, they may have questions. Yeah, um, uh, I, I would like to ask uh, Nadette one more question. Okay. Sure, sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. We're happy to hear that. Uh, yeah. But in Khmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, so Nadette means that you have to say 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 ប៉ុន្តែឥឡូវឥឡូវគឺមានអ្វីហ្នឹងបាទត្រើនបាទអាចថាក្បែរចិត្តអាចក្ទុងចិត្តសាងសំអ្នកដែរបាទអ៊
dương ai tầm đẹp xong mưa không chát của bạn nó dương mình việc mình dương bây rút nên chui lấy hay bất dân dưới thời ca xong đọc đồ chìm sạc mai trong mình chui bị dụng thay bạn dương ai mình phê tập bạn chú sẽ đây bạn 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 chú sẽ đây So, uh, hello everyone, especially uh, Mr. Pirom, Gig, Andrew, and uh, Mr. Nade, uh, and thank you guys for uh, having this uh, Zoom meeting. So, uh, my name is Padinya, but you can call me uh, Vincent if, if you like. So, uh, I have a question related to uh, job placement after internship. I understand that uh, the internship is like uh, the, the program in the uh, study itself, uh, but uh, and I, I know it, it, it's a, a guarantee, but I just want to know uh, the job placement after uh, the internship program is that a, a like a, a fully guarantee or what? Or if it's not a fully guarantee, I just want to know uh, the success rate uh, of place, placing a student uh, to various international firms after, uh, after the study. And uh, by the way, uh, I, I already uh, got the acceptance letter from BHMS, and I think I will enroll in uh, mid-November this year. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Andrew, uh, you, you want first? Me to... Yeah, okay, why not? <laughs> I thought you'd do this to me. That's all right. Um, yeah, the simple answer is no, we, we don't guarantee a job. Um, there's no way we can in reality because, to be honest, I, I don't know who you are. Uh, I've never met you. I don't know if you're any good at all. And I'm certainly not going to send you blind straight to JW Marriott in Zurich to be front office or front counter to, to work there or something like that. Because the reality is when they do the interview, you still have to pass. They're hiring you. They're not hiring me. They're not hiring a BHMS student. They're hiring you. And, and you need to perform in an interview, you need to be able to perform a job, and you're still extremely fireable if you do the wrong thing. Um, just because we're a brilliant school with a brilliant reputation doesn't excuse you from doing no work or being employed for doing nothing. So the reality is you still need to succeed, you still need to be a successful student, you still need to pass, you still need to perform well in your internships. And, and really, I think that's probably the key. Students that complain violently during their internship or oh, I don't want to wash the dishes or oh they made me get up at 8 30 in the morning and I only like getting up at nine or, or you know whatever it happens to be if you're going to be that person no I'm, I'm not going to guarantee you a job I'm crazy um, but the, the second part of the question was very valuable the, the how how many of our students do successfully get jobs and and that's something we're very comfortable talking about uh, I think if you look Overall, over the last, I think it's literally over the last 20 years, we've got a more than 90% rating of our students having a job offer. I think the official statistics state within four months of graduation, more than 90%, I think it's 92 or 93% of our students have a firm international job offer within four months of graduation. And honestly, when you compare that with uh, students or, or graduates from the US or Australia, you know, the, most Australian schools, for example, are very proud of having a 12 to 15 percent employment rate after graduation. And, and I'm looking at that going, what you pay all this money to, to study abroad to get a job and maybe if you're lucky, 10 or 12 percent get a job. Well, that, that to me doesn't sound like return on investment, whereas it, it, I won't say it quite as yeah. bluntly, but if you are serious about wanting a job, we will help you find one. We're not going to give it to you, but we'll definitely help you find one. And um, and if you're unsure about that, just have a look at some of the testimonials. Or uh, again, talk to Nade about it. He's probably got a number of friends currently yes. working in, in different industries, including me. With. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we're very confident that we will be able to help you, but you need to be able to help yourself. We we actually make you apply for the jobs yourself. We we don't apply for you. Because if I apply for a job for you after graduation, they look at this and go, oh, this student needs somebody to apply for them. No, no, we, we tell you where to apply. We help you. We show you through the application process. But you mm -hmm. you type your name in, you type your details in and say, hello, I want the job. We, we don't do that bit for you. Um, we can, again, we can show you the door, but you've got to open it. And, and it's a very important part to understand that we don't 
leave students high and dry. We don't say, ah, congratulations, here your certificate, bye-bye, good luck. That, that's something we don't do. Um, I talk to students regularly who graduated three, five, six, even eight years ago, uh, and, and they ring me up and have a chat and say, look, I'm looking at working in a different country or a different industry. What do you know? And I put them in touch with our internship department, the same people you were speaking to earlier, Nate. And um, the reality is they're, they're generally very, very good about it. Um, obviously, not everybody can be 100% satisfied, but... Uh, I'd say the satisfaction from most of our students after graduation would be comfortably higher than most other universities that I'm familiar with. Um, so, again, no guarantees, but you've got a pretty good job. I, I'd say comfortably a better opportunity or a much better chance of getting a job, for example, in the US than if you went to the US to study. If you go to the US to study and expect to stay there with a real job, hmm we're probably likely to have a better opportunity than they are in the US just by studying with us in Switzerland. And that's something a lot of people don't really understand. So uh, you might have something to add to that, Gig. Yeah, OK, yeah. Uh, Actually, Andrew covered or almost the key point already. So let me summarize so to, for you to get a job after graduation, because if for my experience that I take care of many students in this region from Myanmar, Thai, Laos, and uh, Cambodia, I can tell you that only one of my students who didn't get it. So most, most of them uh, get it if they, want, if they want to, okay? So, but first of all, we cannot say the word guarantee because we don't know how you're gonna do well at the internship or and also yes. uh, at the interview as well. That's why, because we don't know you now. But if you pass all of the academic requirement, if you do well, if you have good personalities, if you are confident, if you have good English, but you, are, but you already show us that you have good English. And also uh, if you do well at the internship as well, because some of my students, you know, they seem to do well, but at, but at the end when they did internship, they get many complaints, okay? Yeah, so if you equip yes. with all of the skills and what they require, I, I don't think it's going to be a problem for you to get the overseas job placement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. ដូចជាចាប់បញ្ញាបាត់ឬក៏ចាប់អនុបតិតនឹងតើកម្មវិធីអឺ internship ពេលយើងកំពុងតែសិក្សាសាលាគេការ៉ាន់ទីឲ្យយើងភាគខែដូចយើងបានជាក់ហ្នឹងគឺ <coughs> គាត់អាចដឹងច្រើនពីបញ្ហានឹងណាស់ដែលអត់ណាអាចជួយបោះសាយកន្លែងនឹងទីបាននឹងដោយសារណែងធ្លាប់បាន <coughs> <coughs>
nhưng chăm tầm rồi phía rồi lại chú ý mong hay dựa xuyên ai cứ ai tôi không phải đội nhóm chăng nếp phía chân bóng phía chân cứ xuống nhân dân chạy hay chân này ai mà hiện ở mà hiện nơi xa lá xuyên kê hiện vì vật đệ xuân thả được cách ổ tay là ấy nâng hay tên tên này ai bình chất ở chú chất thơ ca nơi nơi cái lại kháng phát chân thơ mấy bà này ai hiệp trong một đồ bán nếp này nhóm thả ọt tế nếp nhóm mà hiện nơi xuyên kê hiệp trong cư 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 thơm mấy đầm bay ở nhóm do chơi nhiều bàn thơm mấy đầm bay ở nhóm thang và đây thang cái cứ apply cục cái lãi bông mình thang đây cái lãi na mình thang mình thang đây cái lãi lụa na mình thang bây giờ đi phân nát cứ thay dương 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 thay cá và đây thang được cái đập bê đập bê nhóm nhóm hiện bây giờ nói năng tới cứ nhóm miền ở cứ nhóm miền cứ thay mình lên chuẩn bị bao nhiêu vật thay chẳng tới đập bê đại ở đập bê đại nhóm đã 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 tới cái lãi thay cá bê đập bê đại quan sầm phía đập bê đại cái lãi thay cá quan sầm phía nhóm nhóm apply bị phải đây thang đập bê đại sờ lá đại nhóm hiện thoáng bây giờ miền đại nhóm hiện thoáng cứ nhìn vào bàn chồng chạy nick nick cái chơi nick cái chơi vậy để tha sờ lá quan phía tha quan ban từ phần dưới nghỉ quan phần dưới bị thầm mấy đầm bẹ ban ban ca nhiên nâng ta ở vậy vậy xem xem tiếp cứ dương thơ khổ ai của tháp pe tới sầm phía sờ lá ở miền tây sầm phía vùng dưới sầm phía ca nhất tới sầm phía vùng ai nick cái chơi ba mươi sáu bằng nhau bỏ Vincent did we answer the question properly for Vincent did we I'm hoping we did but yeah yeah thank you no they're just making sure that we sort of covered a whole bunch of different things we're talking a range of different stuff so I was just making sure we actually covered the question properly first before we moved on but yeah yeah thank you so much chăng chồng nói năng à khang dương tay tay bị chẹp hẹp này sắt khai đã tham ôn là dương à chạy trên từ sự sáng là suy nghĩ thương mấy chân là xa phần tục dương ở bàn lõ có mọi miền bánh hà mùi xa lá hay phê dân cho mình thân xếp cực lại nó cứ dặn ở mình tên cực thân xếp cực thương mấy ở mình recommendation bì của anh thua cá nó là ổ chân là phê dân à mình lại khăn phí nó là ổ hay cục xong nó là có chú ý tiếp trăm CV dân chú ý bằng điện xong phía và điện ấy nó dân mình nó cả hạch bàn càng như thua nó kéo tê hà nó cứ nhầm khơi như sắt mai phía trắng cực bàn đặt phơ ca nơi mà đẹp mà tại là desktop ban đầu thôi cái nào để cái co cái nó từ từ hiện đấy à lộ một nhóm từ 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 hiện này bọn bạn tại employment là bao là đấy cứ nó suy thật đấy bạn bây giờ chụp cái sao ok bạn ok bạn bạn chứ là bạn nhá bạn xin chia sẻ luôn năng khoa khác đấy những ai có phía xa này và tham tiết bán đội bạn nhá còn đang group facebook của riêng này riêng ai chạy như vậy thay được vì những lĩnh năng chiếm sách cư sơ thì sách dân chá chá nó có con mình bọc sao cho làm việc con đang ca đã bị nó về dưỡng ở chọc cả xa nắng và bạn bỏ đấy bằng nhóm kết tha chẳng lại mấy cư khổ khoản chiếm sách ở con bóng nạt đây đã đầy xe bọn sau bạc con chẳng ổn bạc tăng tăng thì chô màu ở nước nông xùm nữa bà là hốt đó anh sẽ xin đổi nhóm hay bà nhiều bạn chờ bọn họ còn tay cái lãi nhận thân ship cứ là kê gái thân thí là nhóm xong một chạm bạc 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 khai có gái thân thí đã cứ mình sẽ mai nhưng bạn chờ và ok chẳng là nẹ đó tay tiết và xin nhìn mình xong nối những ai là xua chì phía sang lệ bán xua chì phía sang mai bán là bây giờ việc mình dừng thôi ca bỏ xe ếp tố càng nhóm chì ếch chân dương ếch chân dương sắp xay ta cam xì xa là bọc sắp lạc lạc tại sản xâm rạp khang tầm nàng xa là nâng nhìn sách khám ai dương còn sửa xa nằm tốt của mình bộ mình chạp 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 Hello, Sarah Nate, the Edwards, and we speak, and I'm not the university student, but I am really interested in the topic here, but it's talking about scholarships, and I really I don't know who and I want to know how to apply and how to study at school. What do you do that you have to study at school? We said some new, though it's a search bar on a, on a, but the same here is some new, but don't get by now, but as I stop the good, I'm going to stop. You can't get any, some new, but you can try out to you. I was struggling to understand the question personally, but I couldn't uh, quite I, hear. I properly. can't hear. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, I cannot hear also. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe we could get you to.
type of bit of the question in. Yeah. I think the microphone. But maybe in the meantime, well. maybe in the meantime, Andrew, we should uh, uh, we mentioned about how we support them, okay? Because we have several things to support our new student, like like you are well organized free online English course. Yeah. <laughs> That's very okay. kind of you to say. Yeah. Well organized. I so in the meantime, for students who joined the event today, and Kirom, I hope that you don't uh uh do the live because this is very exclusive for students who join the event today. So for the uh, students who join today, if you apply and you, if you attend within 2021, you will get uh, our scholarship that Mr. Pirom already uh, tell you about that. But also on top of that, you also get special 500 uh, Swiss francs as your application fee waiver as well. But this is only for students who join this webinar okay because yeah. it's very exclusive and mr pirom know that we don't we didn't give too many students okay mm -hmm. uh, and also another thing is if you applied yeah and already made a deposit payment you can join our free online english course it's one on one and it's very it's free okay so at least you can brush up your english and get ready to study in switzerland and learn the new language further with its German or French, okay? So- Including me, I use also. Oh, really? I also used to get the scholarship, yes, yeah, three months before I studied my, my course in uh, in BHMS, they offer me for free. Ah, yeah, yeah, but now yes. we offer online, it's free. Because, online, yeah. Yeah, because maybe students, they delay, they, they delay their like, travel, yeah, so it's free online, right, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But actually, to this be honest, I, is, I think it's probably better. <laughs> yeah, because say that. <laughs> yeah, because actually, actually, this program, if you search in other school, only for you to study online English course, it's quite expensive already. But for us, we keep That's it for right. free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So not only in terms of financials, but we also support you in other issue as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so let me explain in the Khmer language. Pe apon chum moi nang a ha tu bok do sum nuo bo ni pisat su nang yung mai nhu stap bo chap hai po tai yung ban khoi sum nuo bo pisat ban ta lai nang nong chat bo bo yeu nang. Ku sla bi chum hai yung mien a ha tu bok chi pa de phia de mien mien chi a ha tu bok pe nhe. Pe sang le yung hai ta pa chol scroll ship nang ku ban cham pi អឺបួនពាន់ពាន់បស៊ីហ្វ្រង់ទៅតាមប្រមួយពាន់ពាន់បស៊ីហ្វ្រង់ចឹងអ្នកដែលគាត់ដាក់ពាក្យសិក្ស
nhóm chẳng tìm mũi nhóm ở nhóm hàng ngay nhóm thực ca đây khang fashion company chắc fashion skill nhóm miền hải vậy phía xa cứ nhóm miền hải hải là biệt chạy tôi chỉ muốn customer nhóm miền hải hải cả là nhóm hiện bi nó sống khác cứ nhóm miền chuẩn bị khang cái này đấy cứ nhóm miền hải hải chẳng tới khoảng ngay cứ nhóm cái khang cái này đây nơi nơi cái thực ca phong nhóm chạy tôi mà tiền để chôn phong nhóm recommend thì fashion sao là tiền để chôn phong chắc cứ khôn nhóm to cứ nhóm miền complete set để bây giờ nhóm miền complete set để bây giờ nhóm ready khôn ai cầm hộp điều số đại pi bài ca nghe nó của bà Panna cả đau của tham mới nó về đại nhâm tư ở đây về đại nhâm tư dòng phía từ bồn mình đã chơi thống cứ quạt ở cứ quạt cứ quạt thật tệ thật tệ buổi nhâm trời mình tên nó về đại của thai nhâm thì chỉ chôn bò đất tê chẳng kể ở nơi nơi suy bà tôi vô chôn bò đất tê kháng ở đây to đất thai dương nó cũng lẽ cả nặng rồi còn lơ pi nè ở pi ở pi nè nó không lo co ở lơ ở pi không lo co ở giờ tới thai nặng nó bị chơi chôn suy nên tay mà đòn bàn kẹp họ là tôi dương chẳng kể thai bị chơi chôn kê chơi dương đắp dương toàn là phía dương mà phải từ sáng sắp được con đường hạ sắp từ ba từ tu ban cai nhân đường này chưa bao giờ sát bao nhiêu ba ba ok chúng ông con trai ông chẳng có lấy đi tam bất tử khang nhóm nó chỉ education agent này khang sáu lá có còn là chia sáu lá thế ông chẳng ở bẹp pon đường khang nghe thưa nó cao mình chọc cả sáu nó dương mình ai phải đào phòng mình lục ắt bàn này nó chỉ tu tới cái ai cho tổng nhận nông chim mồi năng cái hai migration agent nó được gọi migration lawyer tầm bây giờ phải dùng thái mà chẳng là nó và sau chuyện này thằng anh ấy snap tới mình xây chạy ban khổ của mình ấy trong thôi thế là nó gọi thà đôi khi mình chạy chẳng thà chỉ education agent dương ở anh vậy vì đường employment bẹp bòn năng tạo bị chọc cả xã bà này năng dương vậy bà bà năng chẳng dương anh prapi ở cái lực là là còn tai tam là là đến vậy mấy nó có thua có những thuốc mình bắt vì sao thì nặng đá của nhóm thuốc ca sao chứ thì sơ chán bị bị ở nắng cứ bánh hai chậm bóng cứ bẹp bóng cho mỗi năng làng với skill mong cứ chùm ní phía xa nó chẳng bà dân trong thật thuốc ca nơi ổ xử lý nơi New Zealand là mấy cái căn đá dân thời tầm mến ai ở dân tích có có mô chất phèm làng lời này và bật tục phía xa ông lấy nắng và nắng và nắng khi chia nhóm giấy tu tới cứ thời mình chùm ní phía xa mùi chẳng nặng đẹp có bàm bí giác thời mình chùm ní chá thiết là của những đăng ai những tập cụt về trên thì mỗi năng chuẩn chiết kể không và đôi chuẩn chiết làm bài cang mà thôi khu phía sau ông lấy năng số máy quạt số lấy bộ quạt chạy phía sau ông lấy tăng cầm nát xẹp chuẩn chiết ô sơn liên nó có một thôi khu ông lấy số máy cứ số mình tên tên tập về những từ bị phục lộc hàng kéo những thời tập cụt về trên mỗi kể mà thế chắc là sắp đặt số nút năng phía trên ban tập phần năng thế bẹp phần năng càng nhiều khỏi trong càng xa phục quạt số mình tôi chỉ tu tới và tại bảo sân dịch cam thi sá cứ riêng miên là sắp đặt Uh, one year employment uh, graduation tập okay, sơ cái bên partner cho mùi uh, uh, salon bên partner cho mùi năng uh, thả bán càng nhiều nơi tham bảo và nó nhiều mơ tham mà Mr Andrew có quạt bán show show pi uh, 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 many student đại bán got uh, employment uh, overseas employment có bán show hay vậy bạn ok chắc là nè tất cả những mình sử dụng website thì tất cả những đôi khi lơ mao những mà pay pi như thế ấy bạn chúng bà sinh về dân ai à tập tu ban sầm nô môi tiết trong khối bà sinh về ở miền tây dân sông bị chập cả xa dưỡng mà ở tàu bóng nhiều miền nơi sầm nô môi chấm bùa cà hiền nơi ở b h m s nắng ở dân ai bóng lôi chia semester ba này rồi có tập bóng tặng ông mỏng she want to know about the fee payment right so i can explain in khmer bẹp bòn chấm muối năng cá bòn thái sả cứ sả bị chấm muối nó khóc khóc pi ở sả nơi bờ tây ở sơn lý khóc pi nơi dùng sơn khóc khóc pi nơi chạm của bọn lấy cứ mình tầm tới ở sơn cọ thái sả môn này bạn nhầm xong một chạm lại năng chấm nó bây dương dương hai phía xa cái máy hai tốt cá dương tốt cá đã bị ấy nó cứ tụ bây dương ta bởi dân dễ bị phía đôi ta mình cho vi giá cứ xăng là ớt miên mỏng bạn của nhìn sách dân đã tới cái chọp nắng dân dễ bị phía đôi dân càng nghiệp xế nhá ta bảo thầy đã xa xong mà apply xong mà student visa từ xa đi xa lên nắng cứ mình mình dễ tới bọc sẵn những cửa tay mình là đẹp lẽ và nắng chẳng là dân ở trăm bà tóm đường cọ hay là khá đầy tề phần tay cả bọn thay xa nắng cứ nó bây giờ dân cho học visa nó bây giờ migration nó không thì không lưu dẫn kẹp lưu visa dân hay dân nhưng thử bóng tay tớ là chăm tìm mùi và ở chăm tìm bí dân ách bóng chìa installment bán là dân ách bóng mà chăm tìm mạch bí đón thì có dân cho ra một là xe nhất tay ta mà nhộm tấn cực bóng mà chăm bóng 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 bó
ហើយសាមរីពីក៏យើងអត់បង់ច្រើនទៅស្រឡាគេមានជីពីអេសកុលស៊ីបហ្នឹងបានវាភ័យមកស៊ីហ្វ្រង់ទៅចិត្តពី
So please don't feel that or oh, you are lonely. Yeah, we take care of you well. Chúng ta đang nói về sân chơi 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 chúng mua những cái sách máy dùng xem xem tiết làm bài dùng à xuôi nón như vậy thái bộ tài sản là trong group nó dùng à sao để chơi như vậy sốt tóc bao nhiêu sách máy dùng là vật tài suy năng mà chẳng hạn group nó dùng dùng à đào tạo lên sách đã có cầm bông tài sản là vật tài suy năng sách đã có potential là thay có chấp vào làm pi cả sản suy năng dùng ở đây còn sách xem xem là có ở sợi chấp vào làm cho đúng cho mỗi group năng bán thì bảo tài sản dùng à ได้อันนี้ก็เป็นคําถามที่ผมจะถามคุณครูอีกครั้งหนึ่งนะครับแล้วก็ขอบคุณมากที่ได้มาร่วมงานกับเราในวันนี้ It's very kind of you to give us a bit of time, uh, especially. Well, what time is it where you are now? It must be four thirty, close to lunch time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, in Switzerland. Yeah. Yeah. So now that ah, on Iman, I just want to ask you one thing. Do you think you want to do a job? Okay, but I, I couldn't jump car. I jump car. I just want to jump car. ແລະຢູ່ໃນກົນນະພິດໃນລະບົບສາລາຄືຢູ່ໃນຕົວສກວ່າມາລະບົບຮອຍທາສາລານີ້ຄືຊິສາລາອໍໃຫ້ຕາ
tam telegram các bạn tam facebook các bạn dân đo chậm lại chun hay dân ai thật chạy như phù khang khang dân sống này dân đang chui vào bình vô bị lộ biếp dân hai thà break down bị cái chậm này bị cái sao nó suy năng sao thì dân nó thấp dân bạn là thật chạy mua những sách khai dân trán dân ở bên là chơi tập đo phần miền là tam tam là dân dễ nhất cứ dân tìm mối cứ sờ lá phần miền bị sờ lá thì pi cứ dân thật xua pi tầm nắng sờ lá dân xua pi sờ khai dân chấp bị bập sọt này chẳng là dân mới tới đôi chỉ cái thời gian nó suy thoái bộ bát tay suy thoái bát tay suy cứ thoái dân kề bạn bàn tay đời xa ta khang sờ lá mình cầm thì ở dân chỗ internship của mối khai nắng bà sơn dân nhà xa bạn nhà bắt cứ đào bầm bầy đào khai chẳng là dân ai cắt bát thôi hôm nay chán mà tiếp tiếp tới cái thời gian bát tay osli nắng bát tay phèn phèn tiệt bạn chẳng là trong ba ta xôm mình chấp cà phê dù mình thêm mình thêm dương ta phần năng sản hay dương ở công nghệ công nghệ tập đoàn cho room staff thank you so much Mr Andrew and Gig and Nadet thank you so much for joining us today so so everyone have a nice day enjoy your weekend okay thank you thanks guys bye bye and please see please see Nadet video on P P S A C Facebook Okay. <laughs> okay. Nadia, yeah. you remember your video? I gonna ask PSAC to post the video later. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye bye, everyone. Bye. 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 bye.